Good afternoon to our dear viewers and listeners. My name is Viola Mboneko, a member of the Fidelis Leadership Institute. Right now you are watching the Fat Talks show. Today is a very special day. Today is the leap year day, the 29th of February. Mm -hmm. And four years, this day only comes four years. And on this special day, we have two impressive guests. One of them is called Madame Olive Zaitun Chigongo. Madame Olive Chigongo has done lots for the Ugandan industry in terms of trade. She was the first female president of the Uganda Ch uh, Chamber of Commerce and Industries which started in 1933. She owns a string of businesses in real estate. Her flawless skin inspired her to start a business called Amagara. <laughs> and she is true to her beauty. I can tell you her products must have been an inspiration. You're very welcome, Olive, to this show, Fat Talks. Um, thank you very much for hosting me and uh, good afternoon the viewers. All right. And to uh, the listeners on uh, X Spaces on Twitter, you're all very welcome. Thank you for supporting Fat Talks. So our next important guest is Rosette Sebujana Jemba. Rosette is a woman of substance. She has been in the sales and marketing industry for a dozen plus years. And right now she serves as the commercial director at Newman Industries. Rosette is also our host on Bump Lab, which is a very phenomenal talk show that has taken the country by storm. Yes. Rosette, welcome to Fat Talks Show. Thank you so much, Viola. I'm honored to be here. Thank you yes. for having us today. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, today's show, the topic is about women in businesses, women leading businesses, women led businesses. And who better can we have than the two important women from different generations? <laughs> and this is very impressive. And we don't want to come off as feminists, but we're here to motivate other women who are in the fear of going into the unknown to listen to the people who have lived the life and walked the journey. Oliver, I'll start with you. Mm -hmm. What challenges have you, not before I go to the challenges, mm -hmm. what has inspired you? What inspired you to join a, a woman um, in business? Well, thank you, Viola. I, I think business is, is, is very personal. Mm. I, for one, as in, uh, by nature, I'm very adventurous. Yes. And um, I don't fear to venture into any business. And the entrepreneurship field, and I, maybe I was born with it, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it's something that um, in my adult life, I said I must do business. And it was just my interest that got me into business. And of course, I looked out to people who are doing business, and it so happened that uh, in my youth, unfortunately, I was not in, in Uganda. I was outside this country okay. uh, during the time in Uganda. And uh, I came across women in business, and I was inspired by those I saw in business. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. So we can say it's an innately part of you because yes. if you are never going to do business, yes. then there's nothing else you are cut That's out true. to do. That's true. Thank you so much. That's very, very impressive. Mm. Over to Rosette here. Rosette, yeah. tell us what inspired you to join business? Okay, so um, I have been in the corporate space for said a dozen, a decade plus. A decade. Yeah. Uh, sell marketing and distribution um and that is coca-cola and rensory precisely mm. so um as, as many people who are in the corporate spaces you know there's times when you know times are really tough and you're putting in 120 percent and you're thinking mm -hmm. if i put this in my business mm -hmm. wouldn't i you know get more value for myself mm -hmm. and also maybe to build a legacy like everyone you know aspires so what inspired me was um i looked back because you know my dad was in the corporate space and he 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 was good at finances he was a finance director mm. for many years but you know he got to a time when he reached our secondary level mm. and were out of finances mm. and it's it, it was majorly because he hadn't ventured in that side of business mm. so when i got to that hard, hard time of my life i'm like you know what um i think i'm done with this and i had a word with my husband we mm. spoke her over it um, do this like I can't I can't keep giving in 120 percent and I'm not appreciated I think we need to venture into business and because my mom was a lover of food she was a foodie we used to serve in the restaurants mm -hmm. my mom had a restaurant mm -hmm. 
and we would serve food. So I was fathered her with food and, and, and my husband just kept saying, you know what, let's start at home. Okay. You can start with mandazi, start, you know, and, yeah. and then we start. <laughs> so I was, I, I was inspired by that. I'm like, you know what, we need to start from somewhere. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and what inspired me was um, the fact that I saw many ladies that made it, yes. you know, yes. the olives, yeah. the, the many of them. And I'm like, no, if olive can do yes. it, I, I can do it. So, so yes. It's really inspirational, Olive, uh, mm -hmm. as you can see, you've been touching lives knowingly mm -hmm. and unknowingly, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. on this journey of business, there are always obstacles. Yes. And the obstacles sometimes can be gender-specific obstacles. Mm -hmm. by virtue of you being a woman. Mm -hmm. So could you share with our listeners and our viewers how, how you overcame some of those obstacles on your journey? Uh, well, business, you can't really overcome uh, challenges in business. Mm -hmm. And I, for one, when, um, like I said to you, I was outside for many years and I watched people doing business. I remember a club called um, Women in Business in Kenya mm -hmm. and uh, headed by a lady who has since passed on. And she inspired me. She was actually once the president of the Kenya, mm -hmm. uh, I think, uh, Kenya um, something mm -hmm. from the association. Mm -hmm. uh, I think she was called Mrs. Wamba. I still remember her name. I was young, but I was always looking out to, 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 to what she did. Uh, when we came back to Uganda, I am, of course, you know, in 86 or 87, Uganda was a different story yeah. from what it is. Probably you people are not born. Yes. But um, <laughs> it, it was really, really bad set. And I remember that um, the short of break everything, we used to even buy toothpaste, to small things, even sodas, and just name it, um, okay. to bring to Uganda. So in the process, I, my husband was into the business of transport. So time came when I said to me, you know what, where do we venture into real estate? Mm -hmm. And uh, some of you might know that uh, Mosokate, for example, was one of the pioneers in that industry, Mosokate mm -hmm. yeah. Apartments. Yes. Yeah. And I ran it from Monday to Sunday. Wow. Great. <laughs> uh, and because we, we, we had been out there, we had seen how these things are done, yeah. we had, uh, I even did a course at Utari College to make sure that I read it or even what my girls went to study. So we ran that for, for I actually ran it. I had managers that I ran it. I was almost 24 hours working in the family business. Yes, of course, there were challenges. Um, like, even to this day, women in the business still have special challenges. It's like you always try to even um, put more efforts. Mm. than the man yeah. <laughs> because we're always judged yeah yeah you sure. know, we, we are always and we live in the judgment society mm -hmm. like particularly towards women true. say and i remember the time we had to get a, a loan from um the world bank there was what was it called again anyhow so i was the one chasing it because the man was in politics and mm. because sometimes they would say hey, she, she couldn't be able to run the business. Mm -hmm. But we, I ran the business and we paid off the loan at the Wonderful. time. Yeah. Uh, but of course, the, 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 the business, the, oh, you know, the, 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 the woman in the business, mm. you work again when working with husband, he takes the credit more than you do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you work true. like a donkey, yeah, yeah. yeah. But again, the credit goes to who? Yeah. To the man. To the man. Yeah. That's one of the. But which is fine yeah, as long yeah, as yeah. the business doing fine. Mm -hmm. So I, I found that a bit uh, sometimes annoying when you are mm -hmm. you, you haven't slept because like in that industry sometimes we're very late. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's okay. But let alone, I try to do something with my daughters. I have. On a son, there's my children and daughters. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I said, let's do something as girls. Mm. Great. And again, one of the things that drove me to doing business is financial independence. Mm. Mm. I wanted to start a business that is only for women. That mm. I'm going to run as me, yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> but not necessarily with the, with the, the husband and yeah. the partner. Yeah. And uh, of course, a lot of challenges, particularly in our environment whereby we care. Borrowing money, yeah, yeah, yeah. You you have to to give uh, security, yeah, and I can tell you at the time in the eighties and nineties and uh, even up to Southern, 
not many of us had uh, land or houses and mm -hmm. to give in the bank. Bank security. Yeah, securities. So oh. that was one of the challenges too. Uh, there was this culture, which is still there, by the way, mm -hmm. is uh, even more parents passed on those days. Mm -hmm. The inheritance. The inheritance, the inheritance <laughs> goes to the, to the board. <laughs> to the board. Yeah. 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 yeah, so those challenges of uh, accessing finance, of uh, walking to people's offices, and sometimes they would think, oh, what is she doing here? Mm -hmm. We just get a pretty mm -hmm. face, you know, exactly. things like that. Yeah. Yeah. That also has its own challenges. Yeah. Yeah. So really, it's, uh, but again, I would say challenges. Uh, every day in the business. That's yeah. true. Yeah. They never yeah. end. Yeah. I can. I, I think beautiful women face that challenge because most times they are misconceived and yeah. judged exactly. for their. Looks, you are judged. It's yeah. like you've committed a crime. Maybe you have a pretty for you. Can just yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't even experience that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, probably I would say something which is not what we have said. Yeah. When I became the president of the chamber, doing that is coming later. Mm -hmm. I faced a lot of challenges. Yeah. yeah. And I was the first woman, actually, I think, in Africa to mm. head a chamber of commerce. Oh, and nice. Good. The next one came in, I think, after um, maybe two years, uh, two, two years after I was in the chamber, and mm -hmm. I think from Zimbabwe, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. So whenever you walked in, in this room with all these guys, and, the, exactly. and most of them never reached the like, oh, lost. Yeah. You are yeah. in their face. <laughs> what is he even doing? Oh, what is he doing here? here? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, what is she doing here? Yeah. But anyway, that was all the time. But today, things are different. Yeah. Yes, thank you. That, that was very informative. To those that have joined us, the topic is women-led businesses. Mm -hmm. And our guests today are Rosette Seguja, Commercial Director, Humans, and our beautiful President. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's not use that word. Our President yes. of the Chamber of Commerce yes. Industries for Uganda, yeah. Yeah. Madame Zaitun Olive. Chicago. Mm -hmm. yeah. So over to you, Rosette. Yeah. Can you share with us who some of your role models are in the business, especially women leaders, and how you've not asked to... about their challenges? Honestly, like yes. the, the patriarchy, honestly, yes. Yes. that whole thing where they feel like no, it's a man supposed to yes. do this yes. better. Is, is is really something that yeah. um you know we are, we're entering the women's month. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm yeah. excited about that. So yeah. it's about Much. empowering empowering mm -hmm. women and lifting each mm -hmm. other up. But uh, for women, even that sourcing funds, mm. they just look at you and think, I mean, this is not your world. This is a male-dominated mm. thing. Mm. You, what are you even doing here? Yeah. So those are mm. ma one of the major challenges, especially for, for, for us who are in FMCG. Mm. Fast-moving consumer goods, Newman's mm. is a product that mm. will be put on a shelf and uh, taken immediately. Mm. So you have to inject money, mm. more and more money. Yeah. You have to reinvest over and over again. Mm. So yeah. Um, I think so. That's fair. So, who are some of the women leaders that have inspired you on this journey? Um, across in you, I'll start with uh, across the world, mm -hmm. and that is Oprah. Mm -hmm. I love. I love that she has been a resilient leader that regardless of the odds, many times she was just away. She was ridiculed as a woman and told she's not good enough. Mm -hmm. You know, these are things that happen to women a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're beautiful and not good enough to lead. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're, you're for right was the opposite side. You're not beautiful for TV. Sit mm -hmm. down. But she kept going, mm -hmm. which I feel is one of the uh, best um, attributes one can have who is aspiring to to be successful in life like regardless of the odds regardless of, uh, of what life throws at you you keep going i like the resilience that she had because to honestly win you need to stand strong you need to stay focused and yeah. resilient as a person mm -hmm. but in the ugandan industry there's lots of ladies mm -hmm. um i'll start with olive who is right next to me Thank that you. she defied the odds she 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 believed in herself as a woman mm -hmm. and she's like no if other women can do it and for for women like her who have who traveled much younger mm -hmm. and ex, and were more exposed mm -hmm. um you you know you come back and, and show us that it's possible because you go to kenya you you go to america and see the ladies doing mm -hmm. it and come mm -hmm. back and empower us because in uganda we have the society norms you know mm -hmm. as, as, as women in in, mm -hmm. in the african culture mm -hmm. we, we are raised to be lower a woman you know you don't talk mm -hmm. you stay humble so when they see you leading because leading needs aggressiveness mm -hmm. you, if you're leading you have to talk you need to have a voice so you know beating those society norms mm -hmm. uh we are inspired 
inspired by by ladies that, like you that have done it before us. Um, I like Margaret, mm -hmm. the owner of Seroma. Mm -hmm. She has also yeah. Yeah, she's also mm -hmm. one of the ladies that inspire me because she she has gone aggressive with this whole. And I like that when the last time she visited us and was talking to us, she was encouraging women, but she gave us she gave us room. Uh, because they're dealing in cement and building houses. Mm -hmm. They're like, women, you know, start small, you know, just give me that one aim. You don't be scared that, you know, you need you need a hundred million to build a house. Just keep, you know, depositing with us. And, and you saw, you know, we rise by lifting others. And I love women that lift other women because that's how we grow as women. Yeah. You know, we don't put each other down. It normally happens even in workspaces. You see a woman and, and you're thinking, no, she's not, she's not, she has no potential. No, women have, it, there's a lot of potential that women mm -hmm. have. And I'll, I'll, I'll be sharing a bit of a study that I, I, mm. I, I, I did on, on, on why women are even better leaders. Yeah. We have less ego. We are good at multitasking. Mm. We are like we are super. People haven't even, you know, exhausted True. what we can do. But yeah, that, those are a bit of the leaders. Yeah, the, the Dalai Lama mentioned about three years ago that the world needs more women leaders because women are compassionate and yeah. the world exactly. needs more compassion and this was a spiritual male leader mm -hmm. telling mm -hmm. the rest of the world so i think we are pretty much on the right path mm -hmm. uh over to olive how important is mentoring and helping women navigate the challenges of entrepreneurship because most times we have no succession plan you come in and you're the star of the show but there has to be the one that come after you. So to you, how important has mentoring been in being able to navigate challenges of entrepreneurship for women? No, no, I, I think with time, uh, particularly today, like she just said, some of us, like Mrs. Uh, Zenoma, mm -hmm. Mrs. Kigozi, mm -hmm. Mrs. Chiwanu Kamania, mm -hmm. and many other, I can just mention a few. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's very motivating. And I, for one, what I can tell these ladies and what I tell you, those I work with, is do have confidence in yourself. Mm. You can fall, yes, and it's allowed. Stand up, don't give up. Yeah, mm. don't allow anybody to push you back. Yeah, because when men fail, yes, oh, true. so men fail, they stand up. You, as true. a girl, as a woman, even when you fail, yes, stand don't up. take it, stand up and move. Yeah, and by the way, if you don't fall. The chance that you won't learn. Mm -hmm. exactly. So those I speak to, and I'm speaking to them now, is that don't give up. Yes. Because you tried the project hasn't worked. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't mean that you're not going to keep trying again. Mm -hmm. Keep trying and believe in yourself. And also believe in what you do. Mm -hmm. uh, because if you don't believe in what you do, then you'll be scattered. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You'll be scattered. So it's important to believe in what you do. Mm -hmm. And also what I advise uh, you know, out of my experience, I've had my challenges in mm. business. Mm. Um, is like uh, she said, she learned her skill from her mother mm. in terms of food uh, that she mm. was doing. Mm. It's important to do what you like. Yeah, it's important to do what you like. Mm. I don't know if I said you, I can tell you how I started uh, one of the things I have done in my life. <laughs> you did mention about my skin. No, maybe yeah. my skin has nothing to do with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mine is probably the, I'm lucky I've got good genes. Yeah. But there's nothing special. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, had an opportunity, like she says, to, to see different things. Mm -hmm. And one time I'm somewhere in Europe and mm -hmm. there is a particular shop that mm -hmm. I liked. Mm -hmm. uh, body shop. Very sad recently I saw that it's, it was affected by COVID and other things. Mm -hmm. okay. so I'm looking at the products they have in the in the shop mm -hmm. and I realize actually the, 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 the ingredients came from Africa. Mm -hmm. From uh, Shia Bata, yeah. Bata, Shia Bata, so many things. So I said, why not do this? Why not do this? And I came here, did a bit of research. I I engaged uh, Professor Chrissy Gard, mm -hmm. he ran the yeah. Industrial Research Center. I went to Makerere, I had mm -hmm. some young scientists, and we started it together. Mm -hmm. So it, it's something that, it's, it's like I said, you have to be passionate about what you're doing. Mm -hmm. What also I didn't tell you is that uh, Misoko was not my first business. Mm -hmm. I'm also passionate about design oh. and interior. Just wow. interior design. <laughs> and uh, I had a shop. Homes Limited, I've never heard about it since 1995. Yeah. Yes, yes. You, you were very happy to know. <laughs> yeah. But those who are watching, yeah. I remember my age, most yeah. of them were my clients. Yeah. So mm. I, to this day, mm. I love it. 
And uh, I'm even now I'm still venturing into nice. reviving that business. Yes. So it's important to be passionate about what you're doing. And uh, those of you young people, even when people are trying to venture business, at first establish what you want to do. Mm. Yeah, do a bit of research. Yeah. Mm. Get professional advice mm. where necessary do market research. Mm. I made a mistake, for example, in one of the ventures is I didn't do enough research. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I didn't uh, get to understand the consumer behavior. Mm. So I lost money here and there. Mm. So what I can tell the, the people venture in business mm. is to do market intelligence, do market research. Get advice mm -hmm. when necessary because mm -hmm. in Africa, not in Uganda, we tend to think that you can wake up in the morning and do business. And, business. Yeah. and do business. Do work up by your home. But I've done this. Why not me? <laughs> so I think it's important to, to understand what you want to do, study that uh, sector, see what you want to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. where you need uh, profitable financial advice, mm -hmm. legal advice, go for it. Mm -hmm. So I really want to, those who are looking to some of us and many others, mm -hmm. get professional advice, be passionate about what you're doing, yeah. and don't be scared to fail. True. Yes, mm -hmm. have the courage to fail, wake up and move. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what I can say. It's true, passion mm -hmm. drives a lot. Because if you're going to be an entrepreneur, there yes. are very many chances that you have to love what you do yeah, because true. ultimately mm. the odds of failing are high mm. so it's picking yourself up exactly. that matters the most it sounds cliche but it's actually it true. It's something true. most entrepreneurs have said it yeah Steve jobs bill gates yeah they always say be fearless yeah fall down and run yeah. 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 so thank you so much for that um rosette mm -hmm. In this business as an entrepreneur, you have to, had to find some ways of raising funding mm -hmm. because we can't run away from it. Mm -hmm. need, you need capital. Mm -hmm. So what strategies have you found effective in raising capital for your enterprise, your venture? Okay. Yeah. Um, first was with us. We had to reinvest in ourselves. Mm -hmm. Like I told you, while I was in the corporate space, mm -hmm. all the money I kept, I had to invest in the business mm -hmm. and reinvest and reinvest. But we also got um, a bank loan mm -hmm. um, that has helped us to revamp. We also sought for equity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because mm -hmm. we, we didn't want it to be small. We wanted it we, we, we're not looking at mm. the next five years. We want, mm. we want to build an enterprise that can be able to employ many more people mm -hmm. and something that can live on to the generation. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so that's why we opted for that. So for those that are looking to start a business, you may consider having financial discipline because most of the capital will come from your pocket, exactly. the initial capital. Exactly. And then you have to get the bank loan, uh -huh. which you'll have to service. Which you'll have to service. And that takes a lot of discipline. discipline. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So um, now, in terms of funding, uh, because Oliver has been at this for more than 20 years, oh, yeah. what challenges do women often face securing that funding. Uh, that's why I say yeah. uh, it's important to get professional advice. Yeah. You have to get a financial advisor. Mm -hmm. um, if you go, if you have borrowed money in the, from the bank, they give you these forms. Mm -hmm. And in all honesty, most of us won't even bother mm -hmm. to read. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah? Even if you read, you might not actually understand. Mm -hmm. So get a profession. That's why we have people doing different. You are lawyers. Mm -hmm. uh, Accountants, you have to mm -hmm. get them to read those documents mm -hmm. and tell you that this is what means. Because often people are very desperate to borrow, yes. but they don't think about what might happen tomorrow. Yes. So get someone, if you're not old, I'm not saying everybody is, uh, but in most cases, mm -hmm. we have financial advisors. Mm -hmm. Get a financial advisor, get a lawyer. Three those uh, terms and contracts yeah, yes, yeah. of the bank. Yes. Before even get to the discipline, yeah. first understand yeah. the conditions. Yeah. Because normally yeah. we, and that's why we find people actually people running to these money sharks because they yeah. make it so easy. Exactly. Yeah. They run, oh, you want to oh, give yeah. your yeah. Come. Yeah, yeah, come, come. You give your car, your house, before you know it, it's gone. Mm. So it's important to, to understand what you are borrowing for. What are rules and regulations you have to follow? Are you able to be able to pay the bank interest? You can't even negotiate. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. so, but in this case, that's where really professionals come in. I, I mm -hmm. find that uh, the people say, ah, 
I'm not going to pay my money to mm-hmm. to a financial advisor yeah. or to a lawyer. And to, then you lose. And then you lose. Mm-hmm. So what my advice would be, get advice before you even go to the bank. Sure. Let somebody interpret those yeah. little, little things. Because they put in yeah. yeah. the hard disk. They will read the bottom lines yeah. underneath. The tiny the tiny <laughs> you have to be a uh, lawyer or yeah. a natural person to understand it. So, well, mm. how do I give anyone who's going to borrow mm. to understand before yeah. they can get the money? Yes, yeah. get the money, but understand, but understand, but it. understand it. Mm. That's so, um, to our listeners, for those who are looking at growing and uh, financing your businesses, you must be able to okay. get financial advice from yes. professionals. Yes. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't mean that entrepreneurs are just lucky and good at business. They also mm-hmm. need advisors yeah, definitely. to be able to yes. tell them how to manage their money, yes. the terms and conditions that the bank loans come yes. with. Yes. Because most times the banks use a very persuasive language exactly. and get the exactly. conditions exactly. are hidden in the little detail yeah. that small clauses generate. Mm-hmm. So over to Rosette. Mm-hmm. Rosette. Mm-hmm. Um, in what ways can women let businesses bring unique perspective and ideas to the market? Because most times we're living in a man's world, mm-hmm. but based on your experience from the corporate world and now where you're leading mm-hmm. at Newman, in what way can women let businesses bring unique a unique perspective ideas to the marketplace um first of all inclusion mm. inclusion number one mm. and uh, giving the ladies a platform i am actually a gender i'm a coach mm. so i'm very passionate about gender equality in the workspace and women um i like that we, we're doing a Actually, the women are 60% now and the oh. men are 50. Mm. Uh, just to encourage women more, you know, they have a voice. And uh, I just want to read um, mm. some, something that someone shared here. Mm. I think it's called Jesse, it's called Jesse Johnson. He said, mm. inclusion is not a matter of potential correction, correctiveness. Mm. It is the key to growth. Mm. Yeah. And without gender diversity, organize, organization will miss out on a lot of new ideas and a lot of innovation. There's so much potential. And as a leader, um, many times as leaders, you feel like you have you have all the wisdom you could bring to the table. Um, I like to tell my, my 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 teams or whoever we lead to give us ideas. Mm-hmm. You know, say something. Okay, so what is your solution? What do you think we can do? Because that is when you get more and more ideas. It's not just yours. Or if it's yours, you will add on to that. So inclusion is uh, something that we could do. And then trainings. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's lots of room for trainings. Uh, the ladies need to know the potential. They have mindset change. Mm-hmm. You know, many, many things that leave us stuck behind is coming from the mind, the mindset. So we've been doing lots of trainings on mindset change for people to visualize and see that they have potential. People do have, but because their minds are locked, um, I feel like uh, that's a bit of what can be done. I like that because most times organizations have set rules and there's no room for people to think like entrepreneurs yeah. so the fact that your employers have the room yeah. to express themselves to, express mm-hmm. to bring an idea process yeah. and they've seen something new in the market mm-hmm. and they bring it to you it's mm-hmm. very very commendable mm-hmm. um in this thing of life there's always the home the life that people call it work-life balance mm-hmm. but i like to call it work life i learned it recently mm-hmm. from jackie one of the top marketers she said there's, there's never going to be a balance there's possibly work-life integration. So for someone who has been in this business for a while, <laughs> only, mm-hmm. what would you say about having that balance of your work and personal life? How have you managed it over time, the work-life integration? No, no, I would say it's actually something personal. Yeah. First and foremost, the responsibilities are not the same. True. 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 But you must get your, priori- your priori- uh, priorities right. Mm-hmm. True. And as long as you can, we women, by nature, we are good at multitasking. Yes, yes. we are. Yes. So let's get your priori- uh, priorities right. Some of us have children, some don't, mm-hmm. and some are good demanding husbands, and that you know, don't. Mm-hmm. So it, it's very personal thing, but it is doable, and we can't do it as women. Mm-hmm. We are very good at doing it. Mm-hmm. You know, you could be typing here, and uh, somebody is uh, calling me, exactly. and you can actually balance. Yeah. You can balance. <laughs> so on this one, I think it's very, very personal, but. Yeah. Um, 
And again, I want to say that shouldn't hold you back because mm -hmm. you think it's too much. It's how you mm -hmm. organize yourself. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very personal. Very personal. Mm -hmm. uh, I, mean, I wanted to comment on something she said mm -hmm. about training women in business. Mm -hmm. uh, last year, we had a partnership with NDP mm -hmm. uh, where we trained about 300 women countrywide mm -hmm. who are being trained to do business under the continental free trade area. Mm -hmm. And I had an opportunity to interact with the, the ladies, particularly in North Kampala, mm -hmm. because we were in up north, east, west, central, and all those places. Mm -hmm. I realized that um, there's a lot of talk, women and youth, mm -hmm. you know, they everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and sometimes I wonder if it's actually Real. Real. Building, yeah, real. 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 With due respect, sometimes I find that some people use it mm. for, for their own agendas. That's true. Agenda. Mm. true. Their own agendas. Yeah. And you find the poor women who are running all over the place because company X they exactly. have a tailor program to train women in the business. And so you'll find these ladies are running from one place to another. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I remember when to was it Telegram? And the topic we were talking about. Two other people, two other organizations had been there mm. training, talking about the same subject. Mm. You understand? Mm. So what I want to tell you is good for training. Mm. To train is also good to be exposed. Exposure is yeah. very, very important. important. It's true. Yeah, because um, if you don't get out of your space, yeah. you don't know what's happening next door. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell the ladies that uh, be specific what you want to learn. But they don't say, they say in, uh, you are in uh, Kisoro mm. and you are told to go to Karamoja <laughs> for trade. What are you going to do that? Yeah. I'm just giving an no. example. True. So you are find that ladies are now being over, over yeah, the, yeah. here today, but they in Canada, they in the, yeah. Yeah, different Dubai, places, they, yeah. they in Dubai. But what are they looking for? Mm. Let them understand what they're looking for, learn, and go there with a mission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, for example, I'm in a textile business, yeah. what am I going to do with the, somebody mm -hmm. who is into agriculture? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? I hear you. So be intentional. Don't just go because the wind is, like I said, oh. there's a lot of, mm -hmm. we have there's a lot of money mm -hmm. to train women to do, mm -hmm. but just be intentional mm -hmm. as, as women to what we want to do. Yeah. yeah, and training. Yes, training is good, exposure is good, mm. sharing is important also. Yeah. Yeah. Because some people uh, are scared to share because they think I won't take the idea. That's mm. true. Yes, that's very <laughs> true. <laughs> oh, yes. You know, I, I saw this in in in, in those trainings mm -hmm. whereby somebody knew that, no, you know, if I tell you that somebody's going to steal my idea, <laughs> nobody can steal your idea. It nobody. Is idea. Mm, it is yours. And two, talking of training, I think also we are being taken advantage of, especially the, our women, the SMEs. Mm. Uh, one of the centers went to up north. They are doing beautiful shea butter. Mm -hmm. And what is happening is uh, maybe lawyers have to help them with mm. IP. Mm. Yeah, intellectual, intellectual property. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I think that's where you should actually train the women. Mm. Because these guys come and say, um, mm. buy this share, but whatever it is. Mm. And as long as they have them in certain quantities, mm. they can actually go out there mm. and register it and yeah. take it away. Imagine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these trainings, I sort of I'll talk on that training bit. Mm -hmm. This also is a very important topic for, for us to understand mm -hmm. about the, yeah. the, the safeguarding our own products yes. in what we are doing. Yeah. Sure. So the training is not just a training to do business. Nobody can train you. They, they can improve uh -huh. on your idea. Uh -huh. hmm? yeah. They're not going to tell you what to do. Exactly. Yes. Just open. They just yeah, open they your mind. mind. Uh -huh. Your mind. Uh -huh. Yes. And again, I go back to this reputation of uh, company X, and then they come and talk about the same thing. So you find actually some women are losing their interest. Sure. Uh, yeah. They're calling us, but it's going to be the same thing. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Mm -hmm. So... On the training, yes, it's good, but yeah. there's been tension. Yeah. 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 I agree yeah. with you because the numbers mm. I was reading today mm. and 44% of women led businesses mm. start, but they don't get to live to exactly. see their face. Yeah. Yeah. So it's intentional because 
it's that failure to have processes and systems in place mm -hmm. that are able to mm -hmm. uh, protect mm -hmm. and guard your business mm -hmm. to stand mm -hmm. the test of time. Mm -hmm. So in as much as the world and the, all these SDG goals are in mm -hmm. support of women, mm -hmm. yeah. they are not empowering us to the whole no, exactly. to solve the actual problem. No, yeah, no. I like the fact that you, you said you would like the business to stand the test of time, at least mm -hmm. to hire your grandchildren yeah. and children. Mm -hmm. And that takes a lot of purpose and mm -hmm. planning mm -hmm. and not just getting the basic skilling, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, thank you so much for that. Um, to Rosette, mm -hmm. um, what, uh, in what way can we make, make no, we already asked that, mm -hmm. but um, in regards to your life and your the, the journey you have taken mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. can you share with our listeners and the viewers what milestone or achievement that you are particularly proud of? In your, business, in, your, in your life, in your business, in your journey. Um, I think one of the biggest milestones or victories is uh, being the, the fact that we moved from our former premises. We actually started in a store. Mm -hmm. We started with one of our first products, which is Yuji Kamulali, it's on mm -hmm. the market. Mm -hmm. And then we did um, uh, a juice, it's a banana juice called, called Conk Banana Juice, before we started the whole snack. Uh, the variety of the snacks that we are doing so we were in a squashed environment you know just finding our way and you know struggling in a small space so last year when we used we moved to our premises in nakaoka seated mm -hmm. at 16 acres of land wow. was okay. such 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 um, a success mm -hmm. and for me that's how i view success in those small victories yeah yes. yeah that was very impressive from a store mm -hmm. to 16 mm -hmm. acres mm -hmm. of your own property. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was kudos to you. So to those that are listening in, for those that have just joined us, again, this is Fat Talks Show by Fidelis Leadership Institute. Just to inform the listeners and the viewers, Fidelis Leadership Institute will be having a Fat Fellowship that will be running for eight weeks with eight modules. At the cost of one million shillings, you're able to have a purpose-driven life there are all sorts of modules and experts. Please look out for us on social media platforms. And just to remind you today, the topic is women in business, women-led businesses. And our guests again are Olive Chigongo Zaitun, who is the president of the Uganda Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and Rosette Seguja Najemba, who is the co-founder of Newman and commercial director of Newman. Mm -hmm. Thank you for those that are listening in. Please follow and continue to like our pages. Um, as we continue, I'd like to ask uh, Oliver a question. How does having diverse leadership contribute to innovation within a business? Uh, <laughs> because as a leader, you mm. sort of have a different touch to, to how you do things. Mm. So how do you think any way of how you lead and how it contributes to a business? Because sometimes you're tough, sometimes you're kind, sometimes you're bold. Yeah, yeah it depends on who you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Mm -hmm. I, for one, because I'm talking about myself, I'm, yeah. I'm a patient person. Mm -hmm. And those who have worked with me know about it. Mm -hmm. And um, I tend to be patient, but tough. Carrot and stick. <laughs> yes. mm. Either you do a work, or you get reprimanded. True. And honestly, by the time I let somebody go, for example, in workplace, mm -hmm. I have tried and tried. And those who are listening, those who have worked with me, yes. know about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. from Mosa Courts, then yeah, yeah Mother Courts, the the and then uh, <laughs> the, 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 the Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've had people I've worked with over yeah. the years. They go and actually come back to mm -hmm. me. Yeah. And uh, I don't hold back, like, even sharing information, mm -hmm. sharing experiences. Yeah. I, I share with the people I work with mm -hmm. and who I think I, I add value to their, to their dreams. Mm -hmm. I give it open without holding back. Yeah. And, but um, we have a bad work culture. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I get proud of that. I mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. especially the Gen Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 In, in the business, people work for you think they are doing a favor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They think they are doing a favor. They actually forget that 
in you that pain, pain. Mr. Mm. Job. Mm. We don't seem to have a culture of respecting our job. We don't have a culture of, you know, yeah. respecting the office that, you know what, this is mm. what brings food on my exactly. table. Exactly. Mm. Now, there's something to this that bothers me. Somebody comes to work late, why you... Oh, it's because it's rained. Mm -hmm. Is that an excuse really? for somebody to need it's not? It's it should not be mm -hmm. because we all know the seasons of yes. 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 yes, have umbrellas. When it has rain, mm -hmm. we carry umbrellas. Then there's also yes. traffic. And then there's the traffic. traffic. Even somebody who doesn't have a car <laughs> pays you for the words traffic. Yeah. So we interact with those and I, I intend to, 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 to say, listen, it's, it's not in I'm not being yeah. uh, unkind, mm. but it's, it's not right. Mm. And as much as we, we have a high rate of unemployment, mm. sometimes our people are not really employable. Mm. That's so true. Yeah. And you realize uh, because of that, a lot of foreign companies ask yourself why do companies bring in their own people. True. Yeah. Mm. And those who are listening is the truth. Some of you, I've told you, mm -hmm. yeah, I have yeah. told you, mm -hmm. because if I invested my money in a company, mm -hmm. yeah, I want to revalue, yeah. Yeah. I want value for money, mm -hmm. what value? Mm -hmm. yeah. I want value for money, exactly. don't come in as and when suits you, mm -hmm. and uh, with this attitude of like, uh, I'm, I'm working for her, you're not, you're mm -hmm. working for yourself, you're, you're not working, working for, for me, yourself. yes, yeah. sure. so I, I for one, I, share and advise and counsel sometimes mm -hmm. before i let somebody go mm -hmm. I, I would have really tried my best was that thank you so much um there's this information about gen z's and mm -hmm. having a shorter attention span and then wanting to access wealth and success overnight, okay. overnight. Mm -hmm. how are you handling that at new months oh my goodness <laughs> because we are working with many young people yeah and it's terrible like Actually, in most of my sessions, all I'm doing is advising them on the mm. simple best. Mm. Mm. For example, please wake up early. Mm. You see us, the old people, we wake up early. You can leave that place with your own. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The elder, if, 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 if you know you just keep telling them to do better, yeah. can you that please not have a bad attitude? Yeah, someone mm -hmm. comes to you and you're just <laughs> like, really. You yes. know, so it's it's terrible. We need mm. we we need to educate these guys mm. that uh, things don't come on a silver platter. Mm. Uh, then they have this norm of yeah, you work smart. I mean, mm. you know, mm. they, they want the short well, it's a shortcut. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. can I be an influencer and and, and my three M? No, yeah. mm. uh, you know, you have to put in the hard work sometimes. Mm. Not even sometimes. It's a must. Um, it it's it. You, you have to focus and and, and know your why. Set goals know what you want yeah this idea of thinking this guy has given me a job i'm helping them mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. you're not helping nobody mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. that you're working for yes. because yes. you're very yes. replaceable they yes. forget yes. mm -hmm. and the pain that we show intelligence and technology right now i was it's actually cheap. amazed and i was having yes. a conversation with her because i watched a documentary of, of ai mm -hmm. and artificial intelligence is taking us by storm drivers will not be needed in the u.s in the next 10 years mm -hmm. and that is coming on mm -hmm. if you for you say your expertise is being a waiter and a waitress mm -hmm. my dear it's, it's, it, no you're not going anywhere yeah. the robots are gonna yeah, then, you know yes. they've actually already started, started. in mm -hmm. china and hong kong mm -hmm. and Japan it's coming to, all over True. the robots are doing this thing and they're doing it diligently you know machines True. for them you program they will do they're not like human beings no, like that. they are sick I tell mommy, I tell yes. me. yeah so, so to, to the, the, that, yeah, the, yeah, me, the, the, the work culture uh, a lot of corporate companies here for example they have made it move that um, if you've uh, lost someone in a in, in the family, it mm. have to be an immediate family. Mm. Yes, yeah. because you'll find that someone come and tell you, the judge the judge dies about ten times. Yes, <laughs> but you thought your judge that was uh, my mother, grandmother, and respect. It's not that I'm being sensitive. Mm. It's the truth. Mm. Mm. It's the truth. Mm. So you'll find that in some banks and some organizations. It has to be your immediate family. Otherwise, yeah. nothing will ever be done. Mm. Yeah. And we, we experience this every day. I don't know about you. A lot. A lot. A lot. Yeah. And then there the, is the, the barrio. And then there is going to be the 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 rumbe. Nah. Uh, and the, which is, which is fine. Mm. But for example, in Kenya, they have uh, 
they don't get buried during the week. week yes. They buried on the, the weekend. weekend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, but in our case, yes, we have to be sensitive that somebody has lost a loved one. Yeah. Yes. But some of them use it as an excuse. An ex- 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 time. Yeah. And if you refuse, my goodness. <laughs> she's so mean. Oh, she's so mean. Mm-hmm. She's so unkind. She's so <laughs> uncaring. So, work ethics also has uh, everything to do with it and a thing to do with the mindset. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like she says, where we are going, mm. we they might not have jobs. True. Yeah. yeah. So to the listener and the viewers, please take your work very seriously. Mm-hmm. Exercise some good work ethic. Mm. And uh, as we close, I would like parting shots to for Oli to tell us what advice would you give to women aspiring to start and lead their own businesses. First and foremost, I'm a fan of telling women because they have more girls, have daughters, and they have one son. It's important to be financially independent. Mm. And the days are good where when you were in my time, a man was supposed to look after you. You didn't have to do anything. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. But those days are gone. Yeah. Right? Mm. So and when you're financially dependent, I'm not saying be independent and don't run your home, don't be a wife. Yeah. Mm. It also contributes towards your well being as yeah. a family. That's true. true. Yes. So it's important for the girl to be and I tell this to my girls. Mm. Mm work towards being financially independent. If your husband's not able to to, to buy a car and you can afford to buy it, mm. why not? Why not? Why not? Mm. So I want to tell the, the ladies in the business who aspire to do business, it's very, very important. Mm. It's very, very important. At the end of the day, mm. we have the same brains. That's mm. true. We have the same brains. Mm. The, the women have gone to school. The boys have gone to school. Mm. And yeah. So why not work towards also being financially independent mm-hmm. and uh, also run your home? Yeah, yeah, run yeah, your home. You can be actually running okay. this. Yeah. I like this because yeah. there's a gender that we keep saying that men should do this, that men should do this. There are traditional aunties who say mm-hmm. the man should buy all the food in the household. Mm-hmm. So no, yeah. no, 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 no. It's 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 fine. I mean, culturally, yeah. I mean, a man is supposed to look after you. The responsibility. The responsibility. Yes. Mm-hmm. But it's also it's your home. It's, it's your husband. Home. It's yeah. your kids. Yes. So why does it cost for you to not contribute? I think it's important because your mm. partners are the only exactly. thing. Exactly. It's true. Your yeah. mm. partner, you know. But you're not going to sit there and say, this is my money. Mm. Yeah. I'm not going to give it to the man. Is it? Mm-hmm. And by the way, today, <laughs> also the, the young men who are marrying, yeah. they don't want to carry on people who are broke. Who don't want to carry on broke women. Yes, yes. 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 Actually, that's what they do. Yes. Yes. It's no longer beauty. It's, it's not yes. 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 a job. It's a job. It's a job. It's a job. That's the one I want. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So financial independent is a very trait that the men are now you have a bamboo note you know if you can if you can do both good for you yeah but please girls ladies who are watching be work towards being yeah. financially yeah. independent very very important very very important very important it makes it easier that there is pressure there is pressure on your family exactly mm-hmm. and also you as a person mm-hmm. because there are important mm-hmm. things as girls mm-hmm. and women we mm-hmm. need mm-hmm. some of us come from very humble mm-hmm. background mm-hmm. and you have support your family that also is. your husband will be coming from the same background yeah. but you can't now shift all this responsibility all baggage on to him. this man because he's your husband yeah so please be those who are listening to me, girls <laughs> and the women, work towards being financially independent. Yes. That's very yeah. good advice from the president. <laughs> I, I love it. So, Rosette, passing short. Rosette, what steps can society take to ensure continued progress in promoting gender diversity in entrepreneurship as a society? Because we have seen that society has created these norms. But mm-hmm. what um, steps can society take to ensure that mm. women are promoted? I don't know if society, mm. society can help um, at a certain extent, but everything starts with you as a person, I think. Okay. I feel like it starts with you. Um, what's your belief? I, I believe that God has so much power. I don't know about, you know, the rest, but there's a higher power. There's Allah, whoever you subscribe to. And if you have your belief system in check and you're praying to God and putting in the hard work, because faith without action is dead as well. Sure. So do not give up on yourself. 
yeah believe god for what you can do as a woman believe that you can be it believe mm. that you can be a president for an institution mm. believe mm. that you can own a business mm. and you will do it that's the thing because she actually mentioned something about if you don't believe in your product people won't even believe you if you don't believe in yourself mm -hmm. people will not believe you mm. you come and sell because i mean to sell that you know mm -hmm. that's that's all i know mm. People believe you before they believe your product. Mm, true. How are you? Like, you know, tell me, show me, believe, you know, show me that confidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it stands out. I think everything starts with you as a person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's be persistent. Mm -hmm. Let's persevere. Mm -hmm. Let's work hard. Let's focus. Let's set goals. True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll make it. I like this. So for those who have tuned in, Smart TV is available on DSTV and Go TV. On DSTV, they're on channel 372. And on Go TV, they're on channel 320. We're also available on YouTube. Fat Talk is also available on Smart TV, which is also on YouTube. Like I said, this show is always here Thursdays from 4 to 5. However, just to remind you, the Fidelis Leadership Institute has a program that will be having a fellowship of eight weeks. Please post your loved ones or yourself. If you're looking for a purpose driven life direction, they'll have all these experts coming to talk to you about finances, managing people, personal branding, and all these things that are going to future proof you in the future so that you can be a successful leader for tomorrow. Fidelis, uh, uh, the fat means Fidelis, uh, for Fidelis, the ethics are around having an ethical leadership. So F-A-T means faithful, available, mm -hmm. and teachable. Nice. So these are values that society has really abandoned and we want to bring them back in style because most of the problems in society start when people have no ethical backbone mm -hmm. and that's really mm -hmm. a very big problem. Yeah. Yeah. So today, happy leap day to all of you out there. Remember to tune in next Thursday. But most importantly, I would like to say thank you so much to our guests today. President Zaitun Olive, who has been uh, leading the president's organization from 1933. Very impressive to the Chamber of Commerce, which has a lot of subscribers, 10,000 industries, partners across the Sadak region, and she's doing a great job. So if you're an investor looking to come into Uganda, please look for them. They are found uh, somewhere in Kampala or now. The street is called uh, Tanfield Drive. Yes, Tanfield Drive, right? somewhere within Kamocha. If you search on your Google, you'll find yeah. it behind the Kamocha Street. Tanfield Drive, they've been in existence. They proved the test of time. And then for our viewers who are looking for a nutritious snack, yeah. Newman is available. It has all sorts of snacks, yeah. crisps, plantain, yeah. gonja, uh, chili, gina. Please support Ugandan businesses because once we support our own, then we'll be able to grow the business. Mm -hmm. Until next time, my name is Brian Lamboneko Rusoke. I am a founder for Titanium Agency. We also help businesses to maximize their potential. Remember to follow all these ladies for business nuggets. And remember, as we enter into the Women's Month, please support other women. We have a habit of saying women, this women, that mm -hmm. man, when we, the push comes to show uh, where the rubber meets the road, we are I not know. actually doing the actual action. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to the people who have been on space, Twitter, thank you for tuning in. Uh, again, Fidelis Leadership Institute, Fat Talks Show, remember to be faithful, available, and teachable. Thank you so much. And Smart TV, thank you for partnering with us. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. I think we're done. Yeah. yeah. Mark 24, Driving Business.
Taste of Uganda. Yeah, oh yeah. Rachel, Rachel Rich, <laughs> the Queen Cobra, the password of the money, the original no spare parts, the 11th commandment, the question and the answer. I know you want money, but I'm also broke. Oh no, money is not an object. These days, Momo sorts me out anytime. In fact, my sister, let me also sort you out. Really? I've just sent you instructions on how to get a loan on Momo. I'm here for you. Can I borrow some chips? When you need a loan, you've got MTN Momo. We're so tingy. Use the Momo app or dial star 165 star 5 hash for all quick loans. Choose from the different loan options from our partners and get one that works for you. Together, we're unstoppable. <laughs> According to 2023 Uganda Development Bank performance report, at least 466.5 billion was collected in loan repayments and invested to fund disbursements to various enterprises during the year. The country's National Development Finance Institution has released its 2023 performance report, indicating an 8% growth in assets from 1.52 trillion in 2022 to 1.64 trillion last year. This growth was driven by the increase in gross loans to customers, which inched up by 24%, closed the period at 1.6 trillion. The French ambassador has promised Uganda 12 trillion in development support. Ambassador Sticker said that France intends to invest a substantial sum of 3 billion US dollars that's equivalent to 12 trillion Uganda shillings over the next three years. These investments will be strategically located across key sectors including but not limited to agriculture, oil and gas with the aim of fostering sustainable growth and prosperity in Uganda. Uganda has committed to join the continental arrangement for a joint air transport market by the end of June. The single Africa air transport market is a project of the African Union to create a single market for air transport in Africa. The single market is supposed to allow significant freedom of air transport in Africa to and among member states, advancing the AU's Agenda 2063, which is a sustainable, inclusive growth and development strategy over 50 years. In a bid to promote media rights in the country, the Uganda Law Society has expressed its intentions to establish a pro bono fund for journalists across the country. Pro bono refers to a service that are rendered by professionals for free. The Uganda Law Society is committed to fostering legal environment that is just fair and accessible to all journalists. Nearly 50,000 victims of Ugandan militia commander Dominic Ongwen should get a total of 52 million, 56 million US dollars in compensation. The International Criminal Court judges ruled out in a record reparations order. Judges say that Ongwen, a former child soldier who rose through the ranks to become one of the top commandos of the notorious Lord's Resistance Army LRA rebel, did not have the resources to pay the compensation himself. Instead, they asked the tribunal's own trust fund for victims to help cover these costs. The 
Uganda registered the highest trade surplus with the Democratic Republic of the Congo amounting to 53.7 million US dollars that's approximately 208.9 billion in January and others according to the Minister of Finance performance of the economy report the report which highlights the monthly performance of different sectors of the economy noted that the Democratic Republic of the Congo received more exports from Uganda than any other East African community member state. Driving business. We are very anticipated of this year. We really look forward. Because once we can get closure, financial investment decision of the refinery, I mean, we are happy and laughing because we have our resource not only exported as crude, but refined and ready to use here. Nothing beats that.
That vision of building a refinery has always been the head of state's vision, but it's a very good vision because people need to get their oil here. You need to have the fuel ready to enter your car. You can't do that with crude. So once we get financial investment decision for the refinery, then that will kickstart a totally different uh, development construction for the refinery. And the return on investment on that project is good for the country. Uh, one of the things like you've seen, whenever we have been in a project, we are with joint venture partners, people with the skill and expertise. In Tilenga, we are with Total Energies. I mean, that's basically to grow our experience and expertise for in future operating, becoming an operator on our own without a joint venture. Here we are working with them, studying with them, understanding how they do things. Sinoc. That's why we are with them in Kingfisher. So um, how you grow ex expertise and skill of a young company than UNOC, joint venture partners. The other thing is training. We do a lot of training. Government has trained a lot. So training has been key. Government has trained for a very long time because they knew that this is where the direction of the country was. A lot of training has been done. But we also have on-job training. There's a lot of on-job training in UNOC. We have like for ECOPE, uh, in UNOC uh, on behalf of government has secondees working in the ESA, that ECOP just for the purposes of skilling, knowledge transfer and that kind of thing. So on-job training is very good as well. And then actually the, the other thing which is quite important High caliber staff are, are actually recruited. Staff who have worked in different spaces in the, on the globe. High caliber staff are recruited. And so when they come here, they, are, they hit the ground running. They hit the ground running. Oh, no, ECOP is a very stable country. I mean, company. Now it's a company, no longer a project. Because in ECOP, you have and two nations. You have the whole of Uganda. As a country, we are investment in that company. Then the whole of Tanzania is also invested in that company before you talk about um, Total Energies and, uh, and, um, and Sinoc. I think last year what happened, we got these uh, civil societies and environmentalists lift the profile of the ECOP because they were fighting it. So that's what was ringing a bell in many people's uh, minds. But the project is, I mean, the, 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 this industry is not ECOP. ECOP is the transportation facility. Actually, the, the, what we look at and where the money is, is in Tilenga, where the crude oil is being drilled to come on surface in terms of barrels. And then the Kingfisher, where the crude oil will come onto the ground to refine and also the balance of which will hit the international markets. So the ECOP is a trigger, is just the trigger for the upstream projects really, because without the transportation, then the, the, it becomes difficult. But I mean, without the upstream projects, you have no pipeline. You don't need a pipeline, yes. yes. So the two complement each other. But um, I suppose the, the, what you're saying is ECO did get a lot of publicity last year because it was being fought at an international level. That is good news because, um, well, that, if anything, should show you the commitment of these partners because there's no turning back. Once you have the drill here, the next is they've built them, construct them. When you construct the drill, now let's see those naysayers who used to say the oil has already gone. If the oil has gone, why are we building the drill? The drill is put together, assembled to drill the oil out, you know? So for us, the arrival and the completion of the assembling of it and then the final launch basically signifies the commitment to 2025. That is the big stuff. Yeah, Expect the no, this is the biggest. Expect then bigger vuvuzelas when we have a refinery. Well, but really on a serious note, with the refinery underway and the drilling taking shape and the compensation out of the way, then investor confidence 
in this country should really grow. And so the new blocks, the, li the new licenses, the new licensed blocks where we ourselves have been given Pelican, Crane and Kasurubani. No, 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 Kasurubani is eunuch. It's eunuch. But well, we, it's eunuch. It's eunuch. We've, we, we, we have, um, we, we, we put in our bids, right? So that should be the next thing. How do we now become, as eunuch, with this experience, and having gone through this, become, look at ourselves as a future operator? Uh, no, we have, since we are actually expecting a third one soon, because the second one was done. The second one was done. We have Kasurubani as Unok. So the third one should be opened up because you see what happens. Um, the ministry gauges and sees. And so you don't open up everything at once. You open up as the need arises, as you see, in order to maintain the status quo and flow. Smart 24. Driving business. It's the Premier League, all on DSTV. All the goals, clashes, and moments. All of Rashford, Salah, and Saka. This start is getting better. All in the language of your choice. All in HD. Available on all these bouquets to choose from. To watch on all these devices. Get DSTV with an HD decoder plus installation and one month family for 89,000 Ugandan shillings. It's the Premier League, all on DSTV. Luxury redefined at Sea Hotel. As you indulge in the splendor of elegant living, feed for the royalty that you are. Step into comfort. Pampering and blissful customer centric service as you select from our range of comfy, exquisite living quarters furnished to meet with your royal preference. Surrounded by scenic beauty, our tropical setting allows you to escape the clamorous odor of city life. Our ambient green gardens will guide you to a place of revitalizing rest. The three star restaurant caters to your palate serving your choice menu ranging from exotic cuisines to local delicacies our chefs will serve you full course meals for a truly out of this world culinary experience our fully stocked bar to whet your throat from renowned global brand whisks brandies jeans beers and wines to our locally celebrated beverages you will not lack for any brewage it's an all-new experience in the East at Seasun Hotel. So visit today at Plot 15 to 19 Spire Road Ginger or contact us on plus 256-751-719-960 and plus 256-785-354-614 for reservations. Seasun Hotels, luxury redefined. Twenty-four driving business. Just like Central and Western Uganda, the East and Northern parts are well known for certain reasons. For the East, being home to the source of the Nile is one reason to smile, and for the North, being home to the most ravaging civil war in the country is equivalent to pain and misery. However, as we speak. One big factor brings all these regions together, the biting poverty. Although at varying levels, as illustrated in the Poverty Index report by Uganda Bureau of Statistics. While several factors are considered when measuring poverty, Incidence and intensity remain outstanding metrics, and several Ugandans are trapped in driving factors such as unemployment and poor payments. In the lead up to poverty eradication, several initiatives such as the Poverty Eradication Action Plan 
have been implemented, pulling together both the illiterate and the educated. Among the many is the Job Creation Awareness Training, a week-long initiative by MTAC, targeting youth and the uneducated, as it's implemented across the country to promote entrepreneurship. To understand how important it has been, we decided to capture the progress in different regions. Let's start with Eastern Uganda before we bring in West Nile, Madi Okolo in particular, Kabale in the southwest, and Zirowe, a town in Luweru, about 60 kilometers away from the capital, Kampala. But before that, a snippet into the job awareness training and an understanding of the implementing institute is critical. Two years after independence, in 1964, government put in place a plan to offset any crisis similar to what Uganda is currently witnessing. Rampant unemployment, poverty, and unskilled labor. On 14th July 1964, MTAC, short for Management Training and Advisory Center with support from the United Nations Development Program, was inaugurated. The deal was to create skilled labor as laid forth by the International Labor Organization. This would go ahead to support innovation and start of new businesses and jobs. And it's profoundly known for the much needed tertiary education. MTAC is a public tertiary institution established in 1964 with a sole mandate of promoting enterprise development through training and advisory services. We operate physical centers in six districts. Nakawa in Kampala, Luero, uh, Ntungamo, Mbarara, Iganga and Mbale. But our model goes beyond the physical outreach centers that even where we do not have the physical offices, we are able to reach to the people in partnership with the local governments to give them the requisite skills that they need. And you realize this job creation awareness training program that we've been implementing, actually most of the, 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 the participants, the beneficiaries, are from districts where we do not have physical appearance. But today's focus is beyond the tertiary education for the enrolled students to something special. There is an all open skilling initiative, the Job Creation Awareness Training. 2011 gave birth to this retooling project, a one week training intervention. So, what exactly does it offer? That is one of the many lovely cultural melodies that speaks millions of aspects about the Wasoga people. A culture woven in love, gentleness, and hospitality. But that isn't all. Iganga is one of the many districts in Busoga sub-region that constitute the poverty ridden, especially in rural communities. According to a recent World Bank report, Busoga sub-region ranks the poorest at 41.7%. And according to the latest Labor Force survey by Uganda Bureau of Statistics, the sub-region's working age group is at 53.1%. And the district's working population spread across employment, apprenticeship, subsistence agriculture, and other works. The skilling camp was set at Mtak Iganga, about five minutes from the municipal center. Different nearby villages had representatives, but majority were students. Here, enthusiastic students endeavored to report for school early in the morning, and the class was always full throughout. Lessons were taught in Uganda, a language spoken by the Baganda in the center, but currently used countrywide almost as a national language and the Wasoga seem to understand it well. In charge of the classes is a renowned tutor, Mr. Sewa Karobat, conducting respective lessons for the stipulated project time. Taught skill sets covered making different products, such as soap, both bar and liquid, candle and Vaseline making, plus reusable sanitary parts. There was a schedule for every day, at least two different lessons in making different products. And the demand for such household items is always available as the population grows. Bar soap is one of the most demanded products, both in urban and rural communities. While quality influences the cost, most rural settings are simply concerned about good, affordable products that can easily do the job. So, the product seems a perfect fit into the curriculum. Just like bar soap, Vaseline's are a favorite product. Since a pale skin isn't a priority to many, and adding a little extra glow to it has no harm, it informs part of the curriculum too, and the manufacturing process isn't hectic or boring. There was something special for the women and girls. 
the reusable sanitary pads. A three hour long lecture introduced the ladies and girls in attendance to the craft of making reusable sanitary pads, assembling all needed materials into one final product. Classes were characterized by majority youth, some enrolled in formal education and others not. A couple of adults too showed interest. Out of the desire by the institution to retool people, especially the youth and women, uh, although the major focus was on those that had not gone to schools, we designed a one-week training intervention. And this training intervention focuses on skills, 90% 90, 90 skills. So in this package, we uh, train people. First, we look at mindset change. Two, we look at customer care. Three, we look at marketing. Then four, uh, of course, we also look at bookkeeping and its relevance in entrepreneurship development. Then we also look at the existing materials within an area where our trainees have, trainees have gone, engage the participants on the kind of products that can be made using the available raw materials and can be made, uh, ready for sale. Madi Okolo is one of the 11 districts that form West Nile and a part of Northern Uganda. Just like many other districts in Northern and Eastern Uganda, its development standards are typically low. According to the Poverty Index Report by UBOS, based on dimensions such as education, health, living standards, employment and financial inclusion, the area almost lies in limbo. It always has one of the worst education performances per year, both at O and A level. MTAC never disregarded this area. It involved it in the job creation awareness training. A Rhino Camp Town Council was host to the week-long project. The Women and Youth Development Group was the outcome. Uh, we were trained by MTAC on skills training on bus shop making. We were trained on many activities, but what we picked our priorities, bus of making. Uh, we started, MTAC brought us tools for making this bus of. We bought the materials, we made some of these bus ops, which we sold in our markets here. Uh, we made a lot of profit in what we did. Seated in a region that's challenged almost on all fronts, limited access to electricity, poor road and education infrastructure, among other shortfalls, the community is receptive towards development initiatives, just like the area acting CDO, Lily Amono, affirms. We believe that uh, this has been our dear partner who had been interested to train our youths within Renokam Town Council. Uh, the main target and focus was simply to empower them with life skill program whereby we have said in our previous time youths have been expressing their interests based along the life skill activities that they would like to invest uh, and it's also focused on the observation from our community we have seen that most of the leaders have shown interest for the young youths to be involved actively into activities of life skill training. Despite the campaign laying ground for change, unresolved challenges pose a big threat. And the participants, just like a blacksmith, have to forge a way forward upon the end of the training period. This obviously hasn't come easily as market challenges such as shortage of raw materials, for instance, palm stalling used in the making of bar soap. I want to make it, but one material gets finished. When we are calling, the number which they give us, they are just telling us that material is out of stock. Up to now, we are calling, we are not getting it. When the MTAC left us, we, they give us their numbers which we can communicate with them. And the first thing we did was we bought these materials and we made some bus shops and we sold them. And then reaching to the second stage, we bought some of these materials where we were left with only volume styling, where we communicated with them to, to get for us so that we send their money and they, they send it for us. 
But what they told us is the material is out of stock. It is out of stock, even in Kampala. In Arua, the same, and in Kampala, the same. And they told us to wait. If it's, if it's there in the stock, they will inform us. From the different trainings, ranging from soap making, both bar and liquid, Vaseline and candle making, to pads, the students eventually choose depending on their ability to sustain whatever business they start. They teach us about many things, but we choose bar shop making. We make it the first time. We sell it, we get profits. Some like 465. Specialize in bar shop making. The first time we make the shop, which was okay. We got some profits, and then the, we wanted to make. Actually, we bought the the materials. One was in the stock, so we tried to call those ones. In Kampala, they said it, the, the the chemical is out of stock, up to date. We told them if these are right, it is a if they got it, then they should inform us. Overall, the transformation is openly acknowledged. Skills attained have been used to start up small businesses, such as selling soap, that if well handled, there is hope for growth. The benefit which I've seen is the soaps which we made, others we used them and we sold some, where we earn, where we earn even some huge amount of money, which has made our lives to be successful here. Because we acquired some skills, each and one of us can even do his or her own bus of making and can sell it. But due to that material which is out of stock, we cannot do it. We are requesting them, if the material is there, let them inform us so that we send the money and they, they send it for us, so that we continue with our activity. Uh, from the time these people have been trained, they have really gained skills and they also expressed much thanks from the side of the organization, collecting them have some hand-off skills to empower them to be individually or independent on their own. And uh, here that there are so many activities that they have been trained on, especially the, uh, the youths in town council we are trained on bar soap making they have been trained in liquid soap processing they have been trained in bajias making they were also trained in different categories of activities like in, uh, processing of the vaseline oils where the, some of the products, they were able to do it and display them on the market. The available market is an even bigger opportunity. Try to sell it around the community, in the villages, where our market is just near here, behind the building. Also, we have a urban market which is uh, that side of Ogoko sub county. Also, we have uh, Matangachia market, which is in the river site. By now, I think it's the it's a busy season. The road is uh, not okay. But if that we, has, we have the, the chemical, we can try to move because you can foot, you can cross the the, 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 the values. Uganda's labor force stats offer binding leads to the current situation. The latest labor force survey report by Uganda Bureau of Statistics dates way back to 2021, but we shall use it. From the data, the labor force is composed by 50.8% female and 49.2% male, majority youth and elders. 70% of them reside in rural areas, while 30% in urban. In Busoga, 
the working age group constitutes 53.1%, 83.25% in Buganda, 54.9% in West Nile, and 55.4% in Kigezi. Among these workers, just 3.5% attain degree level education and above. 7.1% post primary and secondary training, 3.2% completed secondary, and 14.2% primary. 23.3% attain short-term spell secondary education and 35.3% short spell primary education. 12.4% never attain formal education. As far as occupation goes, most are engaged in farming and fishing activities. 58.1% in Buganda, 46.7% in Busoga, 54.7% in West Nile and 62.7% in Kigezi. In Buganda, 45.2% are in some sort of business, just 24.6% in Bosoga, 19.4% in West Nile, and 13.2% in Kigezi. Some are engaged in relatively paying jobs. 39% in Buganda, 21.9% in Bosoga, 22.1% in West Nile, and 20.3% in Kigezi. In the chest of luscious green hills and valleys sits Kavali, part of Kigezi subregion, bordering Rwanda and many other districts. While it's a marvel, thanks to its beautiful topography, the largely agrarian communities, especially in rural areas, are poor, and the women are pushing for empowerment and self-sustainability. Primarily, concentration has been on farmlands, cultivating vegetables, Irish, sorghum, and sweet potatoes. But now, to the women in Muyumbu Parish, MTAC has introduced something special. Many as of now, and more are joining us, having seen the good stuff we are doing. Washing and liquid soap that we have learned to make. Although we have not gotten enough capital, we are producing and selling. Now we want to as well produce vastly. <laughs> What I have harnessed most in the MTAG training is soap and pad making. Because for the pads I no longer go to shops to buy, I make them. Since I'm a tailor, I will use the attained skills to benefit myself and friends. In these hills, the beneficiaries are women and youthful girls. Their current plans and hope are much bigger than previously. <laughs> We are to sit and plan for the money we have, buy raw materials and make both bar and liquid soap. As we women shall have our own for washing, bathing, and since we can make even the vaseline, we shall smear ourselves and look beautiful other than trailing our men and begging them for everything. As women in Muyumbu Parish, the begging will be reduced. Kansime Alice is a businesswoman and one of the group members. Since she owns a small shop, this has been used as an instant sales point for the made products. I own a small business in the village. I help our group, taking up some of the made products like liquid soap and others into my stock so that people can buy them. I thank Emitak for the skilling initiative which has transformed us. These women in business are an exhibition of the growing demand for emancipation, unlinking themselves from poverty and patriarchy. Although the central is host to the capital, Kampala, and the poverty index slightly less biting compared to other regions, there are clusters still grappling in both rural and urban areas. So, the last spot of coverage to understand the progress of the job creation awareness intervention was in Zirowe, a town in legendary Luwero district. Following collaboration between a local foundation and MTAC, this simple community is immersed in a cohesion of work. But the approach is quite different compared to Iganga, Madiokolo, and Kavale. Away from the common project activities involving products like soap, Vaseline, wax candles, and reusable sanitary pads, it seems being on the outskirts of the capital has created need for innovative solutions for the ever-growing energy demand. Tabaza Mukasa Foundation, a treated a somero, a treated day about Tobatu Giriza, to a treated the company MTAC, 
Tu igiza bino bino nabe mula bie tuliko. Tukola likuidi sopu, tukoza amanda. Tukola sabuni uwe bitole, tukole bzigo. When majority urban households rely on charcoal and wood fuel for cooking, part of the group in Zerowe chose to enroll in briquette making, as charcoal briquettes are energy efficient. And to get the hands dirty fetches some shillings. The group can be seen busy molding charcoal briquette fireballs, often made out of charcoal residue. Such is the affordable and efficient alternative that is moved to markets as far as Kampala. And the beneficiaries of the skilling initiative are not shy about it. I thank Emitak for the skilling initiative which has transformed us. We are now able to feed our children and help ourselves. We learned how to make Vaseline, bar and liquid soap. Personally, I choose charcoal liquid making. I make them out of charcoal residue and I'm apparently able to sustain myself and use them for cooking as well. With this small charcoal business, I can sell off five sockets at 5,000 liquid soap with the help of my 12-year-old boy who roams the neighborhood. So we can never run short of soap. So I'm ready when the Lord dawns me on that success. Otieno Mavi is one of the beneficiaries of the job awareness training. Apparently, although he's thankful for the initiative, he would wish to have another round of the training so as to cover out any persisting challenges. I'm thankful to Director Mukasa for having brought me here and taught me. Together with a team from Emitak, they are now teaching me this. I can now make soap, charcoal briquettes that I sell around and get some money to sustain myself. I thank them a lot, and Emtak should revisit us to help out with bar soap making. It was still challenging. Success of this initiative in Zero Way is based on the inception of Mukasa Foundation Nursery and Primary School, which has not only extended education to the young ones, but also hosted skilling workshops as it strives to even grow bigger. Through its partnership and collaboration, they managed to secure MTAX involvement. <laughs> Socioeconomic empowerment. foundation Information services and adulthood learning. very very and the social empowerment has been noticeable. Mucho, but wa emisome jenja ulo iri abantu bafe. But wa omusomo ugo kigiriza abantu okore ebintu ebyenja ulo soko kimiriza omutindo guawe. Embera ya we ya uri jo, nembera ya we yenfuna enyingiza. Economic empowerment and social empowerment. But wa kigiriza okora ebintu ebyenja ulo nga sabuni o webitore. Sabuni o wama zibotita liquid soap. Though it was not something that was taken in too much consideration because of the accessibility of the raw materials. That have been interviewed. So, the 
So among the products that have uh, consistently sounded out are making pavers, making jelly, making uh, soap, both bar soap and liquid soap, uh, making pads, making textbooks, uh, making uh, bakery products like daddies and the like. So all this, in consultation with the trainees, we are able to train people on how to do these things in that one week training intervention. And we do not uh, uh, have any minimum academic qualifications for anyone to enroll in this program. And this program, unlike the other programs offered by the institution, is entirely free. At a time when university education is at the climax and at the same time ineffective as graduates fumble to secure jobs, there seems to be ground for prosperity of tertiary and vocational education and skills such as those offered in the project key to initiating startups. The attitude is changing. Gone are the days where people used to be much focused and emphasize white collar jobs. I've given you an example of MTAC that when we also started this program, our thinking was that maybe this will help people who have not gone to school. But we've been amazed that most of the people that are enrolling on this program are actually graduates. So you see, you don't have uh, to be, uh, even if you are a PhD holder, there are basics that you that can uh, that can make you uh, survive, you know, and you can create a, a meaningful impact on the lives of the people. Mm? Uh, look at most of the successful entrepreneurs. They are into production of soap, they are into production of, of eats and whatever, you know, and these are people with very good qualifications up to PhD level. Currently, the employment and labor challenges have thrust pressure for a revised national approach towards labor and education. Actually, the government, when you look at uh, the curriculum development processes now, when you look at the revised O-level curriculum, the focus is on skills, enabling these young people to produce, uh, to be in position to produce something. You recall during those days, there used to be a subject called handwork in primary that by the time someone has completed P7, is able to produce certain things, maybe mats, maybe chairs, maybe what. The designers of this curriculum had the intention that even if you don't continue with education, there is something you can do and is ready for sale, you can sell it to the market. So the government, to me, is on the right track in emphasizing skills. But uh, skilling a population is not only a responsibility of a government, but also the parents. Yeah? Some of this starts from our households. How do we tune our children towards the skilling? Mm? The kind of attitude, what do we promote? Yeah? Uh, uh, you, you find that some of our colleagues, some of our parents, instead of enabling the children in the homesteads to get involved in some physical activity, the focus is more on the TV, and then the other works are done by maybe hired labor. But then, in the long run, you do not know the kind of impact it is going to have on the children that we have. So the government is on the right track. We only need to give it support as individuals, but also as family, as family heads in ensuring that we have a population that is skilled. The labor asina from Madi Okolo, professor's big faith. Provided market conditions aren't affected, she's certain that the fight against poverty will be a success and the return of the project to the area will be highly appreciated. We pick more interest, yes. With that, I know we are going to push away the poverty. If that chemical, if those ones, they are all, yeah, that is the only problem which stuck us. Yeah, the one currently, the others, they are there. Communities have appreciated the handwork from the organization MTAC to Uganda. They are much willing and appreciating to hear that they come back to host this same project on ground. And the, the youths have also said on their side they are going to have ownership to continue in this project by ensuring they continue to inject more by supporting themselves and also they would request more funding in case the implementing partners are ready to support them. With commitment to quality tertiary and vocational education, MTAC 
is on course to building careers resilient to emerging labor and entrepreneurial challenges across the country. Mark 24, Driving Business. According to 2023 Uganda Development Bank performance report, at least 466.5 billion was collected in loan repayments and invested to fund disbursements to various enterprises. During the year, the country's National Development Finance Institution has released its 2023 performance report, indicating an 8% growth in assets from 1.52 trillion in 2022 to 1.64 trillion last year. This growth was driven by the increase in gross loans to customers, which inched up by 24% to the period at 1.6 trillion. The French ambassador has promised Uganda 12 trillion in development support. Ambassador Stika said that France intends to invest a substantial sum of 3 billion US dollars that's equivalent to 12 trillion Uganda shillings over the next three years. These investments will be strategically located across key sectors including but not limited to agriculture, oil and gas with the aim of fostering sustainable growth and prosperity in Uganda. Uganda has committed to join the continental arrangement for a joint air transport market by the end of June. The single Africa air transport market is a project of the African Union to create a single market for air transport in Africa. The single market is supposed to allow significant freedom of air transport in Africa to and among member states, advancing the AU's Agenda 2063, which is a sustainable, inclusive growth and development strategy over 50 years. In a bid to promote media rights in the country, the Uganda Law Society has expressed its intentions to establish a pro bono fund for journalists across the country. Pro bono refers to a service that are rendered by professionals for free. The Uganda Law Society is committed to fostering legal environment that is just fair and accessible to all journalists. Nearly 50,000 victims of Ugandan militia commander Dominic Ongwen should get a total of 52 million, 56 million US dollars in compensation. The International Criminal Court judges ruled out in a record reparations order. Judges say that Ongwen, a former child soldier who rose through the ranks to become one of the top commandos of the notorious Lord's Resistance Army LRA rebel, did not have the resources to pay the compensation himself. Instead, they asked the tribunal's own trust fund for victims to help cover these costs. The Uganda registered the highest trade surplus with the Democratic Republic of the Congo, amounting to 53.7 million US dollars, that's approximately 208.9 billion in January. And that's according to the Minister of Finance Performance of the Economy Report. The report, which highlights the monthly performance of different sectors of the economy, noted that the Democratic Republic of the Congo received more exports from Uganda than any other East African community member states. Smart 24, driving business.
yet again to another episode of Women in Business. I'm Doreen Kemcha, Women in Business on Smart24 TV. Delighted to have you. As we get into the month of women, March, we are getting to think about all the different women that actually add value to Uganda's economy. Let's look at the informal sector. According to the World Bank report in 2023 August, it was highlighted that the informal sector contributes at least 51% to Uganda's GDP. It also stressed within the report that this accounts for, the informal sector actually also accounts for around 71% of Uganda's labor force and also brings in as many women, also within the bracket of around 73% of Uganda's women being in the informal sector. We've also had a little bit of grievances by some of the partners that come in to partner with women empowerment saying that they cannot trace some of these women in the informal sector or they are so up and down they are not registered they are having particular challenges with their business behavior so we'd want to come down and find out exactly what is happening on this particular episode we have amazing women from the informal sector leaders women that have been doing this for quite a while and with us in this particular episode we've got wambi molly who is the chairperson of Kawempe Women Vendors Cooperative Society Limited. She's also the secretary for gender under the Federation of Kampala Hawkers and Vendors Association. Molly, yes. welcome, welcome. Thank you. Tusan Sokula. Kale nyabo, nango kubala ba. Mwebale kukola. Kale nyabo, tukola. Mukola. Nyo. Miyake mekakati. Ha, zeni miyaka kumi. Miyaka kumi. Ngoli mbiznes elu. Biznes ya achi. Zeni tunda bibala. Bibala. Miyaka kumi. Usasula fees? Usasula fees. Uina habana? Mbalina. Chitufu. Ate sigweweka. Bachala banji nyo. Banji. Zi financial institutions ze zili yao. Zi teda nyo gamba antitemuli... Abachala bali mu informal sector. Mm. Abatunda nga gwe wo tunda. Mm. Yes? yes. Tunda nyanya, tunda butungulu, tunde bibala, mm. all that. Nte temuli up and temuli settled. Temuli awantu wa mut muganyo ku registering ku gendo ku registering businesses zamwe mm. mugamba ka sente te tekawera. What, mm. what is what is behind it? Church liyo. Church tufu. Kakati mm. tetuganye ku registering anti twagala mm. na ye embera mm. etuwaliriza. Mm nti osobola okubeera awo ekisooka fe tuli abakyala aba abamu nga tetwagenda ku ssomero tetwafuna mu kusoogo so o, ekintu ky'okusoma nga kintawaanya bangi nnyo bannaffe nze ngo nzijeeko nze ninaka akatono ke manyi mm. ne bannaffe bangi tebagendayo abamu bagenda mu classes za wansi p1 so afuna obuzibu mu mbera yokusoma mm. kadala banga jalaga luzungu a lot of luzungu is there but but what you ne, 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 ne packages nga mu nga bako so mm. yes mm. ngo inzo bisanga nga ku, ku, ku online ngo genda ku registering sicho kakati mbadde ze sikimanye echo nti babi babi tuvunulira na ye fetch singo tutisa luzungu mm kogero luzungu kuba bona tuka singa ngenda ku URSB bona tuka boti yes please enter uh -huh. yes kati ngo utani ko kuloza njogere chi kati ezo ze fear ezitule meso ku registering a businesses mm. that echo kubiri abachala bano betukulembera beba beba overall ye mama ye tata abamu ba widows abamu Abami webali babera nabo mu nju na ye tebayamba chinene te, actually tebayina chebakola abalala abami webali neyenga nabo ba mufuna ampola mm. oba baba dukako ngabali mu nyumba na abana mm. kakati abantu bano akasente bwa akakola kuba fetu tubedde nnyo mu mbeera ya butembeyi nti tuvudde ku street ne tuku ne tujja mu katale kano kuba twakatandikawo omwaka gwa 2022 mu November nga anate ro kugwako ne tutandiko kubera ne ola long tubadde ngeri ku kubo mu haso 
akasente okafuna ne ebitwala sente ezo binji no tunulira bote matema akasente ako nga akagenda dalo oku URS bio registering a business tekali wotokalaba tekali wo tekali wo ebitwala etano kastozi jamu business Literally, obelo kuteku kapto. Kapto. Obelo kuteku kapto. Ogenda kudaye nchoku subula angatolina. Mm. So, e, yunayon songe mu kubitule mesa of registering a businesses is a friend. Mm. Kakati, muli mwela na abachara. Nga abeda awo, akasente kaka kola. Bwa akafuna, oba akatade e waka. Mm. Tu, tu, tu teleka nyo mubu boxi. Mubu boxi. Oluru so telekela rent. Mm. Omsa jawari ni inga. He does nothing. Mm. Kati oru sinaka stukira mu. Naka tuwala. Naka tuwala. Evi tu somo za binji. Mm. Government ne gamba. Mm. Nabacha alaba nunabo. Siba anguba kudiringa nabo. Mm. Ne simu kwa agala. Embera yetu wali risa. Bachi chechi gano ukola. Chokwa taka senta hako ni mkola chi. Ni mkate kanga mbanko. Baka cooperative society kamwe. Chechi gana. Ate guo kakwa atano gendo. No katuwala yumu chi. No kateleka waka. Mm. Chijuwa chi. Kakati. Ebisele ebi mu. Bank. Bobanga mwina cooperative jemuli mu. Mm. Toso bola kumuga amba kati. Nti njaga la sente. Mm. Na zikuwela u. Soka kutu wala mprocess. Zina genda mbanke sente. So kati process ya banka. Olusi mm. goina emergency. Mm. Nibiku kalubiriza. Mm. So abantu wa mche bababa gano kuzitu wala yu. Mm. Na gamba kasente kanka katele ke mundu. Na yu luka teleka ate noli wakala vila na kolachi. Mm. Na katu wala no ulilanga kwa gamba oli stress ti emile mbaba chala tebalina. 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 Mm. Ate da ne abachala banu. Tubuze ko ebya dala abantu wabaja o kutu sensitizing a mumbere zonti mm. mu registering a business ezamu tubulire ebirunje ebiri mu registering a business mm. to receiving information mm. yeyo to jikole to be taken mu nkola naye te mole fa soko lindeko yakala kumbuli anti mu cooperative yamwe mm. eye kawempe mm. aba banks te batela nyo oba aba registration services te batela nyo kuteka wo bugundi bu umbrella wa but we never, 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 never pitching a camp within the markets. or gendo buy and buy. But ngachi tela nyo kubela we wange we. Kakati, ngabo enku nyo nyo denti. Abamu, but abantu betu ina muno. Bapia. Tu bade ku streetsi. Fe wano te chini naba kulabika as as well. Na ye. Abadi yeyo sanga boba bifuna. Mm. Nefe basically msosaya tejetulimu, tetunaba chifuna. Nienga tetucheta aga. Mm. Kubanga buobango ze, nonyo nyolo mtu. Nti, o, o, bo, bo registering a business. Bino bie birunje bichirimu. Mm. Bwa chite gera, nzendo za chimu wangu ila maangu kola chi, okuji wandisa. Na yera still, no musolo ogo, nze, e, nze manjiti no. Toge na kurijastaringa business yo. Oleme kubango ina kasente kwa wayo. Buli, monthly. Tueta aga tumanye. Bweka bayo. Feba mfuna mpola aba wansi. Batu kutebatia. Kana aba menyo wa kana aba. Eh, Bweka aba kana aba tumenya jemi. Sinde jo ulira. Mm. Cheke za bantu weba teba jagi ndayo. So veta aga. Mm. Bat, batu tunule mu batu, batu, batu pime. Kwenka na chi. Mm. But, uh, but wachimanyi, ch ch chili eringa contradiction. Mm. 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 Baba gamba, yes. Muka abanyo ntite, sente teziwela. Mm. Tizi ingila mpola, na baba agalo bayamba. But ogendo bayamba, mm. muina kwela nga muina all systems, na muata de all structures. Mm. Eyo gamba, one, muli registered. Mm. Kucha registration, ogambie, nti oluse abanji, oluzungu olu batisa. Luwa kanga kanga mm. Yes, walu mm. wabali ya baga amati, ah, tu, olu zungu lunchi, mm. yeah, mu registration bureaus. Mm. And then walu wabali ya baga amati, nebo bafuna information, kubanga abanji babela kumasimu. Mm. No bafuna information neyo, come and register, register, you need this, ofuna chino, mm. and this and that, tebabitegela kubanga abanji tebasoma. Mm. 
So no damu no gamba mm. singa wabela wo a time mm. bali aba registration the service providers mm. never jam butale mm. ngabuno. Mm. Chandi ba de easy. Mm. Yes? Mm. Chandi ba de easy. easy. Kubange eri ba gamba, tiba koze yo chi, baba kore de chili easy nyo. Mm. Then mm. the information mm. jemari mwaga la temuina geda ma office ga registration bureau card. Mm. Ito hizo kwa te simu. No kulachi? No, no kwa se simu. No kwa se no Actually no genda even ahead no registering a business. Katugwe wu yo gamba chi? O yo ngela kwa no gamba. By the way, bibi yo gamba. Nti information tu jaje funa kusimu. Folu zungu, abanji. Tetulutegela. Unless inga baja bile ta muluganda. Muluganda. Eh, hey, baba nga baso bolo kuteka wo. Nti omuntu ya galo ku registering a kusimu. Mm. Aso bolo koze sa luganda version. Yes. Chiboke. Ate no kuyamboli atasoma, atama nyukusoma. Aha. Nekabela oka audio, Aha. in audio. Nga, yes. e, nga ba, 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 ba mama simu, ba mm. MTN, ba Airtel, mm. nga weba kola. Mm. Chandi koze? Chikola. 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 Mm. Kakati still, ebe nabiyo na tueta aga, katiola ba angaba na abantu waba tutemu no mkatale. Mm. Wamuga mati, genda, registering it. Alabanga akada kafiri dwa chinji. Mm. Nebu wetu funanga aba abantu aba akuva ku RSB. Mm. Nebaja ne bakola camp wano. Mm. Nga abama bank olusi nizo ita ku butale obulale iyo. Mm. Oba pride centenary mm. batero kole chintu echo. Mm. Ne bakuba camp. Mm. Kwa ne bali just ringi dawo. Mm. Kati omuntu oyafuna ekinyege nyege. Na gamba jateka ye tanu zanga obe biri mm. kwa account ye jagudewo. So ne bana aba URSB. Nabo ba bere friend ili jetuli, mm. but no ni. Oba, the problem, si kwe gamba nti, nti, it is lack of the service provider kujeno. Mm. Maybe the problem is abachala te baga la kujesaringa. Muli wano mpola mpola, mpaka, wawaja business na kwa atila yo ne muchita, echa wano. Walu wabanja abachala nyo gamba nti muli temporary. Walu wale lowe muli, echa te muli yo. Temuina address, that is number one. Temuina address. E chila la we move along. Temuina address. Encha was funa shui. Ogeza muchi mukaunga. Bine bino bino bino. Obi vude ko chilinga temporary kambere kambere ko wano for just a some time until I make money. Sengwe da atu obi vude ko katwa na classify inga wa. No. Kakati. E chonja chiga mba kubali abali ku streets. Mm. E da yembela jetuba demu nti toba akona murimu guli permanent. Aba tembe iba tunda seasonal. Mm. Bwe tuka seasonal ya Christmas. Basu ichinga mungweza Christmas ibi muli vichi. Mm. Nse nene. Eh? Trend ya yo jiraba. Mm. Na ye omuntu uliruali ingila katari. Abela agenze mumurimu guli permanent. Duachi. Kati, for instance, wane wafe, boja, wali mofisi ngo ya gala store, tukubuza umutunda chi. Na, na, na kubulila cha atunda? Cha atunda, yes, yes, sector joge ndo mute, kambuli, chintu, chini na department yacho. E ngo ye, zidi ye ye manga ngabu wala vye. E ngato, kati, e, butungulu, umondo, vidaba, mele mbisi, mele mfumbe. So, omuntu oyo, wali yao. Ali muchi intu chechobu wanga azibwe. So, omuntu kwa abaze mkatali, tabe la kubia just, abaze kola business. Sisu vila yo, okuja ko, webizi webi tebe ilika. Webi jao. Webi babizi, kubebi ote tusawola bigana. Yes. Then, waliwe chila, anti nze mbalete la. Mm. <laughs> mbalete la chewa gamba, mm. mbalive tuwa detu ogela kona. But all those different stakeholders that we are talking to. Mm. Yes? Mm. When we come here, mm. and then we meet the person that they have been talking about, we the reason why. Katimwa bagendo kudam. Nafe tukenda badam. Yes, because now, apart from that, bagamba, a few other stakeholders, abagalo partneringa na mwe, obayamba. Yes? Ogambi enti, bulimunta jau, abela inaka nish, awantu kakona ke, alimbibala, Mumu play singer. Mm. Ali mu, mumu Irish potatoes matoke, mumu teka wali. Mm. Ali mu ngoye, mumu teka mm. saidi yao. Mm. But ochikakasa, oina, ochikakasa dela, are you very sure antibuli mchala ali wano? Mm. Yaze mu kola business nte growing mm. with time achivele mu, mm. over just ali yao ku 
mpola mpola kanyingize oba mutwa loba ku mitano oba ku mibili mpaka wena funira sete wena funira sente atenti te are they serious are they profit minded bali batela nyo chogera ati genda mu business ngo manyinti ogenda kola buli chintu cho nechi sobako ka okola chi ntekule is it it now tutela nyo chisanga mu informal sector also chogola bogambe kali akantu ka seasonal ne wano passion ebera seasonal agenda kwata za kwata mnanga masinga afuna yo 15 oba mtwalo oba mtwale 5 oba 10 ne mbela woko koko mpaka wena afuna sente kato yo mu banking oti yo muteka mu investment oti ya kakati nyagala nkubule kubanze ntambude na abachala abatembei okumale emyaka ejiwera okubanze mbadenga nkulera kawempe kutano mpaka lo tuze wano na ye embera eri wano ya chuka njagala ofune mu akadde obeko muchalo omwa ogoga mati omudala guno tugukujeko furuma akatale olabe chana akola ajaka aba maziga kubanga balaba wano we wali cheba inachoka yes mm. ate wala ba future ye mm. nebo omugama nti gundi wakoze enso binge nda ku suspending ayinzo kukaba ayinzo kukaba so tewali wo kulowoza kulalanti asobola kusula wo kubanga etfumbiro ino okusinga lili mu bachala tewali wo subi lyo yinza kufuna nti omuchalo yagenda kuleka wo mudalo gwa tambula agende badawa lala nkubulira abachala abo beba mama mm. beba, beba tata, tata. buli lwa malo lunaku ngatakoze mm. ewaka abamu banje echo kulya banje Aja kudeka nga school fees vazi gobye, mm. landi loja ya gala kugala wo, chegera. Mm. So, tebacha ina nyobu de, chovola baba gamba mbwa bachaya tebacha hafa nyoku basadja. Mm. Ni yeti baba hafa kwa renso nganti. Tebatu tebufuna njizu wabu wabu nga basadja mumaka. Mm. Kakati umuchala, a playing a rosy biri. Mm. Rosy eza mama, as well as mm. tata. Kakati, abachala bano, Basiba era basula balowoza sente ebudewa zingi dezitia zizezitia mm. ya demu bamu ups and downs na ye babera wo mu bulimbera so nze ndowoza nti bwe baba bafunye right information mm. ku eh, ku ku wandi sa businesses zabo they will do so Otade points ku kubintu nga bisatu bina. Mm. No gamba, ababaga lo kuyamba service providers. Mm. Bachikole ize nyo. Mm. Sikuwa gamba anti bachikoze ize nyo bachitade kumasimu. Mm. Nedda, bachi, bachi translating. Bachiteke mululimi. Omuntu luategeda. Luategeda. Mm. End user. Demystify. Please increase the categories. Mm. Luganda works here. Mm -hmm. Atiaba bali okeba ba, bongeleko even another service aka audio. Ngaba MTN A ya telabu nga weba kula. Mm -hmm. Shingwe la chili is a call ya tama nyi kusoma. Yes? Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yes. Then no damu no gamba nti because wali waba liya bata sobula kubayo kumudala. Neba gende liku registration bureau. Mm -hmm. The registration bureaus actually have to bring the services. Neba jia neba cool. campinga. Yes. Nga banks wezi kula. Yeah. Ugendo kula chi. Ubaya amba. Mm -hmm. Then the body of our body of the 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 the Tebatela nyo chi, chi regarding kuchitua la serious and yet mwe mcheta aga Ngo tata deko bili bisatu yetu oge deko Kakati Nze mm. echi singo oku, oku numai mm. Oba echi tunyigiri zanga bachala Nti Kapito wa fetuba na mtono Nga wengu gami nti Ebi agala Ebi 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 zituwa la binji na yenda inka muntono kakati boga mati kangende mfune wene wola eyo trouble olwe songa agenda kusaba basa bebi tuwebili complicated ngabichi 
kakati na kuzino bano ba manerenda bo bali izi eh, bali izi na yate bakambwe nyo kuche kuchintu cha interest na kubanja nyo mm. nyo nyo baba anja bubi mm. atane interest zidi wakulu kati banka ya yali badetu wangu ila in, interest zayo zidi a bit low kubwa kuba manerenda na ye amate kagazo makakali badja kubuze misingo kuba wali wo bakubuza oli mupangisa actually abachala basinga fe mu butali tupangisa olenso nga ngabwe nanga menta bamu ba divorcinga abamu abasajja baba fako aba ngate baba tegekera amaliriza agenze mu kazigo kakati kitegeza toli qualified kakati wali wo ne nembera ya wali wo banka etero chikola ebya bench Nabiyo olusi bizi buwalanti Muli kubenchi Omuntu abuze Ne senti Benchi nga mwafunye senti Yes Mwafunye kaloni yes. Ezo loni za benchi Nazo zina wezitu nyingiri zanti Oli abuze ne senti ezo Atene baba sasu za mwena Ne muzi sasu la mwena Ne mwokuba mutoche mabega jova Naba ntubo ulabirida Mutufu kuba kunyigirizi wa kwa amani. Ne kubanga benchi yoyo yenyangu. Yoyo kufuni lako sente. Ntiburi omu ye musingo kwa amune. Baja kula ambula ewaka. Nete baja kusaba chapa. Nebo na agenda ngo ya gala loni kwa omu ntomu. Baja kusaba chapa. Chota lina. So. Fabacha latu nyigirizi wa. Olusi wali waba kugamba. Omami wo. Ya kiriza mm. Tuwa galavu kakafu Kubanga baga ambu fetu singa ye bintu vya abami Niba mariza anga bako zechi mm. Babitu tabasaja niba koloru talo Na ye omuami ono Ye muntu hata tuwa lavu na njizi wa waka mm. Gosu bila nita inzo kukirizo gendo kujayolo ni mm. Na woji jayolo wakuba oli stranded Ate wozi jayo koli na ye na ya gala nto omuweyo chomua Gezo gano zimu wako Lutalo Nene bubato zimu wade Nebyo ziko ze seza Tugeze Owele davana mm. Bwe bufuna njizibu wabwe Owele davana Bwe bufuna njizibu wabwe Ya ino kutekinga that responsibility Tajiko ze Sete shegezo Ozitade mubintu Yebye ya liba dakola mm. Nila tafayo Tafayo Shegeda mm. So tuetagamu Embera yoku tutereleza Musimani Banka zitu koze tutia Fenga machala Bagezeko bategele obuzibubu vawa Ateno obweta vubuli wa Buli rudawa Ye Kubange bintu bichuka Chiriye choga mbanti omsajia aliokate keko permission O you know signature Chinzo kole ringa mururo areas Bateno Techitu ala techina muma kulu nyo 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 Choga mba Chiba nyigiriza nyo Echitu nyigiriza, nti mulimu, mulimu obu banko obutono tono, nga tetuwa gela kuziri banke nene, nga jakuga kugamba omsajja wo ya kiliza kwa, baino kulambule waka. Nga baga la kuwa send. Yes, baga la mbula workplace, ne residential home. Kakati, baga la kumanya, jebalaga, are they safe? Nengo lusi, temuli ngunta mzimu bintu bia finance mm. no mwami uyo. Mm. So, bitu zivu walida. Mm. Ate la, nze ngendo zesa sasulira. Ate buwe mumu wa alati, ntingenda kujayo senti. Another no. trouble. <laughs> trouble ndala na zone. <laughs> mole, mole katuko mao. <laughs> I think you're, you're hearing, it, it's, it's more complex. It's more complex than it seems. It's not just about about women refusing in empowerment. It's not about women refusing to grow their businesses. It's not about women refusing to, to register their businesses. There are different, there are different things, there are different aspects that actually involve. But before we come back, let's take a short break and we'll be we'll right back after this message.
ड्राइविंग बिजनेस दिस इज जोर्डन वेन इट कम्स टू क्लास वर्क जोर्डन इज मॉजिक जोर्डन शाइन्स Jordan makes his peers better. Jordan is a true leader. White Star Magic family be a leader, be magic. Twenty four driving business. Welcome back from the break. This is Till Kim Chadorin, Women in Business on Smart Twenty Four TV. We are still dissecting, having more insight into the frustrations of women in the informal sector. Like we mentioned, it accounts for quite a number, quite a sizable chunk of Uganda's GDP. But it also accounts for at least 73% of uh, the women. Employment, labor force, uh, luxury, and all that. So let's get down to it, and we find out in the very first part. we were trying to demystify and find out exactly is it because they don't want to register or there are other impediments now on this particular uh, part the second half of this we've got uh, madam zawede hasina she's a chairperson of wandegea women traders cooperative society she's also the secretary for women affairs under the federation of kampala hawkers and vendors association welcome welcome sanse nianze zanyo sanyuse nyo eri abatuliriza na abatulaba mchale eri nyali anga aliogedde nayo kulidda musi musango zaweda sina eri nyali ange federation ene inaba meka how many cooperatives how many associations federation kati sawe na tuina association ze za twegatta ko ziliana munana ezikola ekibine kya federation nga muli maba chala bokao bana abantu abachala na abami ngo ointandikwa ya febe bantu abakolera ku makubo fowe twali eyo mwande government traders na abaka wempe men vendors ne bibine ebirala ebiri eyo ebikolera ku makubo tweyunga ku kibina kine kya federation of kampala hawkers and vendors association tukolere wamu twabenga tusitula omutindo gwa bantu abali ku makubo nafe tufune we tukolera walunji ekyo mukiso omulunji president ya 2040 tukolera era tuli wano mu Rwanda ekifechera kiri kalere kalere enya abachala bali tebeleza bali nga bameka ah federation mo federation kati sawa eno twakajestalinga abantu omutwalo gumu kanana nga kuliko abachala kenda abachala kenda kenda mulusanzu mu Kampala muno muno uka abaka jyo kutweyungako okukola okufuna ebifo okukola naba alaba chaliye yo ku makubo nera tuwakubira omulanga bajje tukole kubanga twafuna omukisa gwa fene tufuna okukolera tewali mu science oba politics mugendo okufuna awanta okukolera wano kubanga olusi bali batia ne bagamba te basola kujja kubeyungako oba mujja basa banyinji oba mujja bateka awantu awatakola tewali mu politics mu bintu bya ah fete tuli banna bya bufuzi tuli bakozi mm. che kisoka mm. ebyo bufuzi omuntu wadembo kuwagira chawira chayagala na efe ekitugatta kukola mm. fete tuli bakozi tebu bulamu oweyo ne bogera ebigambo binji awo te wakola awo te wakola we wati ne nje galobuze ko ku muntu ali wana obo mugambe nti sawe no vao nga madam mole we yagambe ulire cha zako abagamba anti tebakola ekintu kitandika mpola nga kigenda okizimba mpola mpola kuba gwo ino kizimba te wali mulala asobola kola chi chikuzimbira batu rude banga kuba 2018 na 
ngatulo binge echi nitu chino. Ngatuta ambula mubitongo lebi enja ulo, tutu ukamu ofise zeze enja ulo. Ngachetua agala, tuve kumakubo, na fetufuke kaa bantu abo mugasi. Mm. Ebi zibu binge ebi ituwa sinka na anga kumakubo. Uh, Mubise elebi okesi siye ya tutuwa langa saketi. Nge tutulugunye mari eji tuwa ala. Kwe gamba netude Mwai mabega. E, mitundu, obanga ambevi meka kuchikumi ye. Eh. Mubawa no baba goba ne mugenda uh -huh. wali ya cheche. Ate gata ebi. kone evi nito biko lachi. Mm. Na oku valo tuwa deno e, mitima jafeja atebe nkeda. Wanga tuwafu na woko lera. Awatari gamanti. Ba, batu jia kwe chino. Ah, ah. Enyabu. Katude, e, chotuwa chukunye. Yes. Mm. Awanta ah, woko lera. Gatuli peaceful tu inachi. Omanya togena kela kumacha nojia kumulimo wano. Enyabu. Noko la kasente kwa nodayo. Mm. Na utugende kulewe dala. Enyabu. Bade njoke la ne, ne, ne partner wa wano. Mole. Madame mole. Mole, mm. mole ambuli debi. Ntubachiri olusi tulinga abagenda musakos. Enyabu. Yes. Tulinga aba ito olola tugenda musako. Te, te wali woka solution akali yao. Mm. Kubanga baliba gamba. Mole agamba nti sente teziwela. Yes. Tufuna mtu ingiza mpola te. Ebieta vubinji nyo. Obufuna nyo. Yes. Mm. Kumuchala. Mm. Atena adamu na agamba nti ogendo kwa te kubo. Ogendo kuregisteringa. Tebabi tegela. Obo gendo luzungu. Biti bichika. Tuboba nata andikila. Wa. Ato gendo kuleka yomu dala gwe. Mm. Na agende li nata ambula. Atena ulila bichi. Waluo, waluo kagapa kari yao Katoli oweli na adamu na ena agamba Esentezo ogendo kula zo gamba Zo kaba anti tono nyo Ogendo kuwela Nezi, neze yonge lako Nofu na koba ba customer Abasobolo kuonge lako Abasobolo gula ku Kale nga ku, ku amount vo jobe lo ya gala No sanga ngoli mbukade mm. Chibela cheta gantu obele chi Registered mm. Obele registered Obele ngo manyiti Babelanga bamanyiti, we babelanga badja, yo anda an organized group. Mm. Babela bamanyiti bagenda basa anga wano. Mm. Aba kulembeze, naba friends abalala, bamikwano go abakula wano. Mm. Baba manyi bulunji togenda kubuka na sente na genda wantu walala. Kachiche mm. china tambula. Echigenda okutambula, nze mondoza yange randoza naba ala yendoza. Echisoke la dala, madame mole ya yogede kuchintu choku manyisibwa. Abantu bafe, baba de mumbera anga teba ina cheba manyi. Neka ti omlanga kwa yungu gamba, nti inga wetufunya awantu bafe. Oku manyi siwa kusembele kumpi. Omu ntoyo asobolo okusoma oku igecho. Chai no kola, okulaba anga afunecho chai no kufuna. Ebisele ebisi inga, chiva mubuta manya katifete tu manyi. Tupade te tuyida che tuchimanyi iko eh. Na yu mtu wabanga asembeleze boku manya. Bulichimu chitambula mungkola. Katinga na haba chala, okusingi la dala haba chala, beba singa mbotari. Haba chala bata wanyizi wanyo, nga madame mole wayo gede nti, obuvu na nyizi wabundi. Katibu atebeleza, mve wano kumudala, nga bonyo nyode, ngende nsome, mkome wo. Eh? Chiba yela chimutuwa ilovu dena yewe bana asembeza o kusomeso o. Nebakuleta wana. Nebakuleta wana. Mm. Aba ntuwa feba jumbize vajia chituwa ala mangu. Vanga baba bachitege de. Batika ambuze. Mm. Eno federation. Enyabu. Walimu groups. 48 groups. Associations. Mm. Walimu wandegea. Walimu kalere. Walimu kawempe. Ya? Yeah? Nyingi mpiti livu. Oyakala kumbo lilanti. Te waliwa organizations over the companies in Ezituala, all this education of by educating a Kubali, but it was all of Vio Neva Janeva, Neva Yamba Yamba Koba, no. Every sober, every sober, Yamba Yamba Sharing information. Aha, every Naye luli olubere bere bere badete basobola kuba tubadde buli omwali bibiye. Mm. Bwe nkolera wane nchi ankolera wala naye kati ngabwe tuli wane era nchi damu. Mm. Ebitongole bituyambe ko bije bisomesa abantu baffe. Mm. Kubanga luli kibadde kizibu lero ndi nakula byenchi andi kasubiru libwe eh kati information inaji sanga wo jitegera. Mba sina we ngisanga. Naye kati ngabwe tuyine ebintu byaffe ngabwe bwe tunyonyode Tusaba ebitongo levyo nevi ya nachewa Bijebi yambe okusomesa abantu bafe Nadalo kusingi dadala abachala Abami abu 
Boba ni mungu fumu uko kusinda faba chala. Era echi ntuwechi jaya chipiki inga mangu. Na ya tomu chala, yetaga kunyo nyola. Yetaga kunyo nyola. Kwe jete tusababa sembeze keno, batusomese, sovolo kuvera na fenga. Tutegela chichi gena maso. The financial institutions zitela nyo kuto categorizing inga bachala nga high risk. Mm. Yes. Mm. Ziga mba kasta ono mchala muwase ntono. Mm. Ha! Ainzo kubula hona zo. <laughs> That's number one, she may disappear. Mm. Number two, batela nyo kola choku wata sente na basi teka school fees o mwana mulwade sente, simanyi watu njagala kukulia katoke. Mm. They tend to divert the business money. Mm. Chobola watu ita high risk. Nenyab. So katoli kuwata milioni mu. Na ajukute kama na agamba katigendo okulechi, ogazie okay, business, okay, okole, business. olete. Hmm. Tetu ina structures, chovola, tebatela nyo kukweta nila kutuletela sente. But now, hmm. baga amba singa muja uamu, hmm. gazi nozi cooperatives, the association, hmm. chivela izi. But madam mole, hmm. na vayo na agamba kateyo bench yo java da agamba. Hmm. Geza Kugamba, banga. Uh -huh. hmm. Tuli ya wachala kumi, baga natu wa sente. But now we are uh, kastomu abulako nga tukula ti ata katumu yo che baba deba li bagamba katu, katu wafunile wanonga muli organize kubenche yo Anyabu. tuyo ketu wa yambe mm. nga we muja but now mm. na mwe muta anso gama ti aa ah, feste tuja kuja kula chi ku, ku, ku sija kwete kaku kuleve yo mm. kubanga gwenyezo butamanya oli serious o tia Mm. Uja kubula wuna sente, atene sanginga ansasula sente. Zoka tinjaga loan pay, individual loan. Mm. Choba dolo oza nawe. Ele anti shemba dengenda nango kuga amba. Mm. Kati, <coughs> echi nitu echo. Mm. Olusi, avantu avo sente, ziba, oba ziba sasa nako, mongeri inga mole jia yo gede konti, obuvuna njizu wabonji. Nechi lala, bebatu wa sente ezu. Teba faa yo, kujia kugura hundi kulaba. Za wende, esente we nazimua, za kola zitia. Bweziba za hafa, tukoze tutio kumusi tula. Echini ntueche, singa bajia neba kugura hundi, neba somesa avantu bafi. Newa wale meredua, ayambi dua katia, okulaba anga asitula business, eh, okula ange genda maso. So, kolinde, mm. kubadia manyente avanji bagata kuka financial literacy akali ya wawo. Musevinge, mutanike oche, <laughs> tete bazi gata wo, bama laga kuwa sente weba tiyo. Bazi gata wo, bazi gata wo, era tufune miso moka lengoli na kibasa mesa kuya sevingi, kuchina ye, ngomu ntu. Chengeze za koku gamba, olino kumula ambula, ngo wa descent. Okuja wo chiri, echa madam mole, echa gambi enti, olivu avula oku bench, nebaba sasuza sent. Olu saba ye kwe sengale mele dua. Na ye kwe njini, o inofuno obuvuna njizwa, no jano ola ba dala sente ze tuamu wazikola. Bweziba zifudenga ziwedewo, chichi chetugendo kola tumogate kala venga asituka aso. Olu sasura sente zili, atenga buagenda maso, ngafuna na magoba. Mm. Nechi ntuecho. Nechi ntuecho lala. Interest ya suka, mbama nirenda. Mm. Kati atebo tudako mbama. Mwanzikiri za zafe, omsiramu ye takiri za liba, takiri za mfiseyo, akuwa sente zoze njini za okolachi, zoza. Na ye chintuwe chetebachi tunuli la, ye buka akuwa sente nga gama nti nkuwa da kakadenjaga la mwe mituwa la habidi magoba. Ye afuwa kulaba nga jeochi, sente ze. Tafude yo kumanya, oise muchi, era wole mele duwa chichechi ganye. Tueta ago kugata ko, batu gata, kale butu watu funya akasenta ako, obanga tute mempende zo funa akasenta hizo. Neche tuchivere mu, ntisinga wovole mele duwa totia, jangu otu, 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 otu sinka ne, otu nye nye de sente, naziko sabu enti nebu enti, nezigano kufamu wezi, kachinko ze enti, anemutu ula kumeza. Omu ntua yotaba amu kutia, Era ya kuwa kula mfukuviri lo kula vanga asasura anga ne kumkada asasura pakaru wa malayoji Basa koli ndeko Sente Basa koli ndeko Kenyabu Uwe langa ogenze mm. uwenga manilenda Kale mm. uwa, uwa investment Kenyabu eh? mm. No singa na zawede ne mole no gamba 
But what they gain about our centers, you know, even to every Ghana, yes, even to every Ghana, Mujet Tule, Temutia, Mujet Tule, Mumbuli, the song is about the war, to Jabakwa, Tampola, Hola, no Mulala, no Tula, no Ye, no Gamagana, who are centers, you know. Netaga better focused, better business minded. Mm. Yes. Twetaga to kuwa dem to ala bidi twetaga two hundred and forty. Mm. Sicho? Nyab. Olos oli go so so kubuli danti by the way bin to be in Zoktanka and a bin Zoktata. Olos atagenda kubela checho choba doloza. E chokula o senta kuduku kuda munage uh, school fees zanta wanyiza. Oba mama yalwa de mwana yalwa de oloza oloza tebela webyo nedda mukwano bo bo muwa wano to mugamba nebo laba ngale meredwa tsuka yo kuground yo mugambe mukwano kiki ekiganye so wana abantu bajja obisere bisinga yo twalitandika wana abantu bajja ne bawa abantu lonye abantu ne babula ne yenga management yatula Netu lako na baba wola chi, abantu sent. Netu yita abantu abo beba wola, abali baduse. Netu tula kumeza, nabo. Manerenda, no, diguba waze ne office. Nebaga amba kati omuntu ono tumuyambi etuchia okumuzo omutima. Na mugamba, obaji angono neyo kaloni ya kalala. O sobolo kusasula kukuroni ya nkadengo, sasula kasente buwe kati, nekuna kasente buwe kati. Ulabengu o gataloni, newe jinaba miaka ugumo bebe bidi, eja kubewe wede. Kati abantu bafebo naba hako maomo katale, orwe ye mbela jetuwa sawo. Nagwe muntu buwomo wa sente. Nomu gamba njaga la mwama guba gami tuwa rejo. Nomu tuwa la sake tiburi kaseda, nanya guwa mwama, nomu tima gukolachi. Naye mukwate ngo muntu ngaba wamukwata ngo omuola ajja kusasula bulungi checho mukwana kati mwenga ba leaders ba leaders ba federation enyabo mutambula mwago mu music company ne institutions obabulira okuleta zi services zino kumpi na mwe mutambula totambula ne baba bulira chi ah tuwayo kusaba kwa fe tuwayo mbuwandike ne tukola for lab nte web baluwa baji receiving ne tukuba kone ku masimu ne tubachalira ne bigere bya fe ne tubagamba bana ichi twasaba kutusewa abamu batukiriza naye abala te bana bakola chi tukawa ah tambude yes empire empire you like some institutions kubanga women in business here is very keen on the linkages as well to resources yes when we were doing that, we tumbled the bulungi. Sometimes it is very good. Or back what I'm going to say. Can move them out to say what I want to. Cut it fair. We try to stand up. Okola. We try to stand up. Singa. We focus. Singa. We try to stand up. 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 Eri mumi kono jaf. Eda betu singo kwe uba kumani, beba singo kula fe abatandi kwa butandi si. Eda, walio ente kateka, mubanga ritali diye wala. Tujaku tujaku sayo o kusaba kwa fe, batuwe kulon kusentezo. Tukula kula nye business tuzize yozi ya mbina abalala. Awalala, mwali mutusi mwali mutusi yoku ba registration bureau. え、うん、バイアンバイオ。うん、あ、トワワンディカネトゥトゥカヨナエンゼジェカレチェツシンバケニエスアフトゥトゥノーリラワリコマイクロファイナンスマイクロファイナンスサポートセンターイエコバンガ
Kasobala ngembele njigiriza nyabandu. Mubie mfuna. Uru sivira kwe vye vintu okolachi okubawu. Ebi vintu wabitu some sako. Na yenga esiladiba dedi chari nyoku givivi kubanga. Obisede bisinga tubade nyoku ngudo tukabasa nyizibwa mubotale. Haa ah, wachala wa informal sector. Baine bizibu vingi. Bizibu vingi. Ebi ya sente bia ikule mberane kudako wabuta wanguko. Ye vuli wamu. Na ye ngabu yungu nye nye de. Ebi ntubia sente. Biangu. Gumu ntu atege de cha ino kola. Wrap it up. Yaga lo concluding. Wayonga three needs ezama angu manguze mwete aga. Under the federation, Ngaba Chala Bali mo informal sector, starting with one one of we muli. Mm. Three things the Mugama singa mut call it abino. Nemwangu we nemwangu yayo in helping us to get binebi in tevi sat. Mm. To jakuba at least to good the kulevem to dafum. It's okay that dala saint. Saint. <laughs> saint and gatazidi mm. ko interest. Nga kuli ka lo, interest ka katini. Mm -hmm. Eh? Echintwa chukula embeda dala dala sente. Zezu kwa labu lichimu. Tuwa gala sente. Tuwa gala sente. Na bachala vanga nabu nabu mula vaho. Chukula embeda ave mbeda vachi. Kasa sente teva au. Kuwanga taso wa kujia wano nage na angatayi na wadechi. Echukumi naba mga amisanyi. Fechi dala echila labi abulamu. Ebi abulamu na cho chukchi. Chukulu nyo. Nechila la chitu singu kwa gala. Ebiye okuigi dizwe ebiye mikon. Na chochi? Era tuli kona emta katua galaban tu bafu. Ba tandi koko kuigi ebiye mikono. Mubanga ritali biye wala. Ebi obola mu na chonge ogedeko nesend na chonge ogedeko. Additional skills. Aha. Wango mtu wa banga izi. Wabana akose sabuni ngo yo. Na banga na fumbi mireye. Gai na wate kako sabuni we, e ye nyongereza, e ye ina jemu tuwala. Additional skills. E ye, e nyabu. Banagi, zawede. Maji mkwala. Kwewa le nyoku na yokade, thank you so much. Tuge na kutambula kona mwe, as we get the different views, kumanya chichi ate no lala tuwa gala kumanya we mutu use. Biba kwa lela bilibi ya mubade o baba wade baba liba. We mubade bitu, we mubade mutu use. Banu boba do gamba. Microfinance. Exactly. Tuwa gala tujia kwa mao. Enyewe. Tubuze. And then we ask basically if it is working for you. Oba waliwe nchuka chuke. Nayo bobo inayo kwa otu gamba yonti. Ata waliwe gondi wetu newetu. Yes. Esobolo okuyamba ko. Kubachala 